Hey guys, Yuzor Dreams, or Tim, with another walkthrough guide for obtaining S plus rank in professional mode for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Actually, even though this is the most casual way on obtaining this S plus rank, and again, this guide is literally for anyone who is playing the game, especially if you're a casual on playing the RE series, like me. This is honestly the easiest way on obtaining it, but at the same time, it's still a difficult process to obtain. A lot of things that you would have to really know and practice on is parrying, knowing your routes, knowing how to pass by enemies, knowing how to juke them, uh, knowing how to just play in a much faster pace, because in order to get S plus rank, you would need to beat the game within 5 hours and 30 minutes. Anything over that, you will just get an S rank. So that's why it is incredibly important. Also, you would have to start with a new game. And that's why it's such an issue for a lot of casual fans of this game. Because you would literally have to rely on the weapons that are provided for you. Um, which, again, all your weapons are at level 1. Uh, compared to your new ga game plus weapons where it's just probably maxed out on new game plus you can't get an s plus rank on new game plus it is not possible like i said the maximum grade you'll get is s rank so you would have to do new game with the weapons that are given to you but it, there is a workaround which is that if you have if you have bonus weapons you're you will be able uh to to use these which is to Chicago Sweeper, which has the exclusive upgrade of the infinite ammo. Same goes for the hand cannon. Both of these weapons have infinite ammo if you uh, do the exclusive upgrade for them. And the primal knife has the uh, infinite durability, so the knife doesn't break. But we're just going to be focusing on up obtaining the Chicago Sweeper in this playthrough. You pretty much, you're going to be grinding 30 spindles uh, within the village section at a fast pace. So pretty much I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all your side quests. Pretty much completing all the side quests will lead you to uh, obtaining 30 spindles. And so that by the time you reach castle, uh, you'll be able to upgrade your Chicago Sweeper and use infinite ammo throughout the whole entire playthrough from there. And it pretty much sort of gets easier from, from there. Also, in order to unlock the Chicago Sweeper, you would need to complete the main story on professional mode with an A rank. So, again, it doesn't have to be a new game. Uh, you could just simply do a whole new game plus. And I'm pretty sure on your new game plus, a lot of your weapons will be fully upgraded. And if they're not fully upgraded, uh, you could always upgrade it literally uh, in beginning of the game uh, once you, you start it. So... It is easy to go through professional mode if you uh, start New Game Plus and this is a way to unlock the Chicago Sweeper. Also what would make this playthrough very easy to do is especially uh, having the uh, armor for Ashley and in order to have the armor for Ashley uh, you do need to beat the story uh, on hardcore mode or higher with an A rank so pretty much if you don't want to keep grinding playthroughs because uh, I know pretty much unlocking these certain accessories is a grind to do. Just do New Game Plus uh, on Professional Mode and and beat the game, I think, under 7 hours. Yeah, like around 6 hours, I think. Again, it should be completely easy to do uh, if you're doing New Game Plus with uh, upgraded weapons. Or if anything, you could probably even afford the Infinite Rocket Launcher as well. Because uh, after on New Game Plus, the Infinite Rocket Launcher is available from the Merchant. Also, another necessity for this playthrough uh, is to complete the main story on Hardcore Mode with S Plus Rank. Uh, so that's how you pretty much unlock the Chicken Hat. If you haven't done this, this is difficult to do if you need the Chicken Hat. Because reason why the Chicken Hat is so important is because uh, you get more defense by wearing it. And... If you play professional mode without any sort of defense uh, accessories, or at least with a chicken hat, I mean, you will pretty much get three-shotted, two-shotted, one-shotted, you name it. You will die very, very quickly, especially if you're not careful. Like, if you mess up at least one time, you'll, get, you'll be heavily punished. Professional mode is a very punishing 
uh, game mode, it is completely different from hardcore mode. Getting the S plus rank is sort of difficult to do, um, but pretty much I am using the same strats for the S plus rank professional runs. So feel free to still continue and and watch what I do because on hardcore you, you're still able to tank a certain amount of uh, damage on hardcore mode. So you could still follow what I do uh, in this professional run and you could apply it to your S plus run uh, for your hardcore mode if you haven't done it yet. But yeah, so this is the main accessories that I will be using. I'll be using Ashley's armor, I'll be using the chicken hat, and then I'll be using the Chicago sweeper. I did use the hand cannon in my playthrough. Um, and again, this is very easy to unlock. Even though it says I haven't necessarily unlocked it um, through the challenges, I unlocked it through mercenaries mode when I was playing it coincidentally. And just obtaining S rank um, with three characters, it's very easy to do. And it's also a fun game mode. So that's how I unlocked it. But again, everything is possible just with the Chicago Sweeper. You don't really need to use the hand cannon. Uh, as long as you have the infinite ammo with the Chicago Sweeper and it has decent upgrades on it, you are completely fine. So let's go to new game and talk about the rules that it has. So in professional mode, uh, there's no auto save. So you are limited to 15 saves uh, for your whole entire playthrough. So you have to be careful and be very tactical on where you want to save. And when you die, um, do not reload the save from uh, the pause menu or your, your death screen. Because the timer will still continue even though you reload your save. You want to quit to the main menu and then reload a save. You'll see it uh, on my, um, my playthrough when I do. Because I did die uh, a few times trying to showcase what to do for you guys on this on this walkthrough uh so you're limited to 15 saves if you go over 15 saves then you pretty much kind of mess yourself up you'll be only able to get s rank also pairing is limited to perfect parries and it's why i said pra uh, practicing on knowing how to uh, do perfect parries uh could be very useful because you just never know what's going to happen pretty much this game just really relies on improvision because there's a lot of random stuff that could happen to you a lot of enemies could just mob you easily and just go in front of your face so you're going to be dealing with a lot of people just trying to hurt you um so pairing them is a very useful thing to do sometimes i think pairing is you know in my personal opinion it is very hard to do even though i do practice on it sometimes i just feel like the win the window time to just uh, do the perfect parry is very very small so um that's why in this run i'll show you how to route and run on certain areas other than relying uh on doing parries and the last one says all weapon modifications will be available from the start and that means pretty much all upgrades not your attachments or trade items yet uh, will be available from the start but all your whatever weapons you have pretty much all your weapon upgrades will be uh, there so you could pretty much sort of uh, upgrade your sort of max out your damage in the beginning of the game but again you'll see what I'll do and how I treat uh, the upgrades because you do money is also very important in this game and I want to emphasize this please really observe what I do in this playthrough um, especially with the routing and how I run away and how I collect treasure because Money is very important, and I'll be showing you where to get all the treasure that is needed for this playthrough. Because we definitely use a lot of things, and uh, we bought a lot of things, we sold a lot of things, we upgraded a lot of things, and we definitely bought three RPGs in this playthrough. So I'll be showing you how uh, to do all this. So I'm going to continue with the walkthrough guide. I will add some edited commentary on moments where I'm not talking in my live commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Any support is very much appreciated and I'll see you guys soon. So I forgot to show my controller settings. So this is what I have. This is my control type. Uh, it's on A1. I have uh, parry with R2. It's on even though I don't necessarily use this uh, control mechanic. I don't really I still think it's very useful to have it on. Um, aim assist is off. I don't really like using aim assist in this game. I'm actually better 
without aim assist. And also, you can't even use aim assist when you're on professional mode anyway, unless you have the hunk mask. Uh, but we're not going to be using a hunk mask for this, or the gas mask, basically. We're not going to be using the gas mask in this playthrough, because what's really useful is the uh, chicken hat. Because it gives a lot of defense. And I have uh, reticle deceleration. It's uh, it's on and it's up to the third bar, and auto reload is on. Even though I'm always manually reloading my weapons. Also, uh, controller vibration is on. Again, this is all purely optional, up to you guys. I'm just not a fan of also adaptive triggers, so I turned that off. Okay, so with camera settings, which is basically the main sensitivity settings with uh, aiming and, and moving around. I pretty much found this sweet spot where the movement actually feels very smooth with this. So here are pretty much my maximum camera speed and then with, uh, when aiming it slightly up. You could obviously tweak it because my settings could be kind of weird for your guys' end. So this is my normal gameplay and then when aiming. And then also I put up my field of view all the way up. I love... FOV. I wish there was more options with FOV with a lot of AAA games. Um, I also turned off motion blur. Not a big fan of motion blur. Uh, visually, it's just it gives me sort of a, a headache. I'm not gonna lie. It's not appealing uh, to my eyes. I really actually do physically get hurt by seeing motion blur. <laughs> so there you have it. I hope uh, these controller settings uh, do help you guys and also some certain settings you know, uh, help. But yeah, let me know if these settings are kind of good for you guys. If anything, feel free to tweak it. Hey everyone, so this is my edited commentary on my live stream when I was playing professional mode as I was doing this whole walkthrough guide. You'll hear my commentary from time to time on certain segments so you guys would be able to hear my voice clearly and know what I'm able to talk about because on my live commentary, I'm not really, uh, I'm not explaining the best live because I'm, I'm playing. Uh, I still got multitasking. Also, I hope you guys do mind the background noise because it is incredibly hot in my room, so I have my AC on. But anyway, as soon as you start the professional mode run, as you see, I'm literally running straight to the cabin. You don't need to get certain items or files. There's no point on getting files uh, when you're doing uh, your whole playthrough. So as long as you're getting important key items, treasure, and maybe some good loot you're pretty much set you want to play in a whole faster pace especially when you're in the village section uh, because the village section is definitely the hardest section to do because not only you have to play in a faster pace but you also have to grind 30 spindles which is basically doing all the side quests so you'll be able to spend those 30 spindles on an exclusive upgrade once you hit the castle uh and get your chicago typewriter or your chicago sweeper so over here as soon as we encounter our first zombie, we, we want to be by the stairs. And as you see, since we were by the stairs, the enemy lunged at us towards the wall, so the wall was pretty much blocking, uh, it was blocking its uh, grapple attack uh, as it was trying to go to us, it was literally tracking us. So, again, that's, if you get grabbed by that, that's half of your damage already or half of your health already so you don't want to deal with that at all one bit and pretty much i did like a u-turn uh within that small room as soon as uh the animation sort of stopped and here we are just casually looting and pretty much uh again just playing in a whole faster pace there is another strat to do you want to get as much loot as you can because uh, pretty much once we hit the village section, it is really hard to clear it out fast as possible. There is a strat in village section, but it is very tricky to do. So the strat that I'm doing right now, especially for everyone who plays the game casually, is not get really hit in the village section and not even bother fighting back because that's how you lose a lot of ammo um, and a lot of your heals. So that's what we're pretty much going to do. So as I'm going on this pathway, I'm leaning on the left side so I won't be able to go to uh, the bear trap and then go in this little shed and just run immediately and get the loot. And as you see, the guy is chasing me, but he can't get me. And you want to run as fast as possible out of there, out of that shed, because if you mess up one movement uh, in that um, run, you could be potentially just locked up with 
two enemies with you or three, depending how it goes. And you could just, again, be block. They could just literally be blocking your way. Again, once you hit the village section, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want to do. Personally, this is how I, I'm doing my route. I'm just casually looting first and potentially going to kill some uh, villagers here and there. But other than that, uh, the whole this whole segment is just basically me running around the whole entire village until the time is up. Uh, once you initiate the fight, basically you have to hold off for five minutes if you're not going to really engage with the villagers. So that's what I'm pretty much doing. I was trying to somewhat get lucky on here and, and try to like uh, kill some villagers so that I could go through this whole segment completely faster. But the thing about it is that you would need to kill 15 villagers in this whole run. And again, that's a lot of ammo and that's a lot of um, that's a lot of risk to do. So I just highly recommend to do what I'm doing is basically is just running around looting and also avoiding the enemies and just holding it off for the, uh, the five minutes. Even though it's going to add some time on the clock, it's not going to drastically affect your whole entire run. So I'm going to let the gameplay play out and you're going to hear my live commentary. And also I will be picking up treasure here and there. So keep an eye out on that, on what treasure to get. Uh, in the beginning of this game, I will be picking up basically two treasure here after, during the village, uh, this whole village segment. And then also after uh, this, basically the, this village fight. I will also be picking up just in-game treasure, the default treasure, instead of the DLC expanded treasure. I will not be using any sort of DLC items in this whole entire playthrough. Everything that you see is pretty much all from in-game. So uh, I made this guide specifically for those who uh, did not have the um, DLC uh, or the deluxe edition for RE4 because Pretty much, if you have the DLC, uh, I think you're set because they give you enough treasure. Uh, they give you a lot of treasure um, with the DLC expanded map. So that's why I would here. I'm just using just the in-game stuff that you could fairly get. Also, I paused the game because I'm checking how much minutes I have uh, left uh, before this whole vi uh, village segment. Uh, is done. So I'll see you guys once we head into the farm segment because that's one of the most important segments on your run. And I don't know if I already mentioned this, I'm sorry if I already forgot, but the biggest advice I could give in this whole village fight segment is basically just keep running around and avoid a lot of the enemies. That's pretty much what I'm doing in this whole entire run because it's just easier like that uh, to conserve ammo and also conserve your health. It is easy to really run out of ammo very quickly and also to lose a lot of your heals. So pretty much the general advice I want to give throughout this whole playthrough as well is really conserving your heals. I mean, yes, your ammo, but especially your, your heals because uh, you could run out really, really quickly. Also, I was supposed to save up a lot of my knife durability, but the thing is, there were some random situations where I just got grabbed, unfortunately. But at least we still have some stabs to use. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. Yeah, okay. He just went for the grab. No! Oh, that was close. You're supposed to knock down the freaking ladder, Leon, not go down. Oh my god, a good thing the... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What's the timer now? One one more minute, basically. One more minute and we're good. Oh, 
There might be a guy here. He's gonna grab you and it's gonna trigger a cutscene. It's the cutscene where he's holding on to you while the chainsaw guy literally breaks down a whole freaking building. Just got four ads? Damn. My bad, man, but. Boys gotta eat, man. Thought I was sub. Oh, yeah, huh? I guess. Damn, it's right past the month already. That's crazy. There we go. Alright, we survived and only used one heal, and we still have our knife, because our knife is going to be important in this one, one guy. But, we could loot around now, and pretty much do what we gotta do. Looting fast is very important. You gotta loot this like you're in a BR game mode. It's like, it, like it's a battle royale. Oh yeah, there's a red herb, just for us. That we could uh, also combine. And I think that's pretty much it. I already did show the first treasure, but there is another treasure to get. Fortunately, the, uh, the chickens, they didn't lay any sort of eggs. I was hoping to get an egg. It's Leon from Fortnite. Yes. <laughs> Leon and Claire from Fortnite. Handgun ammo, and then your second treasure should be here. Alright, so I'm back, and we're about to head into the farm section, which is one of the most important sections to do right off the bat, because this is where your first side quest is. And pretty much you shoot, I think it's either five medallions, or maybe four, I forgot. Uh, but... I already have the medallions memorized, so just follow this little guide I have in this segment where uh, I show where all the medallions are. Um, I did actually miss one because I already thought I had it, which is the last one. Um, and for those who haven't memorized the medallions, all you have to do, uh, if you want it marked on your map, is get the medallion quest line sheet. And for here, pro oh, look at that cow just just Why bodied me like <laughs> and i was getting worried if the cow was gonna go aggro but like yeah also this is an important uh treasure to get and make sure when the windmill uh when the treasure is on the uh, right side of the windmill shoot it immediately because if you shoot it center or left it'll just drop into the mud asap but yes i did miss one of the medallions in this section but i came back later uh for it so don't be like me and just get this whole quest line uh done um, but yeah, uh, pretty much um, if you want to know where all the medallions are, um, you would have to get the questline medallion sheet. And if you want to know where the questline sheet is it, uh, for for the farm section, basically, it's literally right. It's at the entrance right before the bridge. But here, this is just a faster pace on. Of what I'm doing of, of getting it again I did miss one There's and I am so I was so frustrated with myself for that and I hate how I, I, I wasn't able to showcase this properly but as you see what I just did as well I did a little skip if you shoot the lock through the window you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to just get in the farm much quicker and also I was able to uh, loot everything in a, a faster uh, pace within the farm again that's pretty much what you want to do in these runs is always be on the go know how to avoid enemies know how to juke them and uh also loot just immediately so you could have much more uh ammo or just resources in general uh when you are in important segments or fights because the beginning parts of village is not as important other than you getting treasure like what I just did right now, or you collecting ammo, or again, just resources in general. Also, there will be a lock right here, so you could just knife the lock, so it could just come off in one hit. And this part is, is tricky because if you don't, again, if you don't move exactly how I'm quite doing it, and if you kind of are a bit lagging, uh, you will uh, make the enemies, like the AI will start really catching up to you and they potentially might block your way and 
you don't want none of that especially how there's a lot of enemies and this is such a tricky part as well because there's a certain timing to push the uh, cart because that's when you get iframes luckily i did it at the right time right before uh or right after they hit me so you you would want to time it basically when the enemies are, are about to hit you so you'd be able to get all the invincibility frames and pretty much just run towards the side and shoot the lady with a pitchfork immediately I wouldn't try to like outrun her. She's most likely gonna hit you. But it is possible. I did it once before. But I would, you know, for just for the hell of it, be safe and stun her. Normally, I would just. I would shoot that, uh, shoot the mine so it could explode the barrel, but I'm just being a little bit conservative with ammo. Since we're good on ammo, normally I loot that drawer, but we're coming, we're actually coming back here. So I'm not gonna loot any sort of ammo. Other than this one right here, it could potentially give shotgun ammo. Maybe the other drawers as well. Okay, it's just handgun. Also, we don't need to kill this guy. Save our knife durability. Two hundred IQ, taking ten steps ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, there is a possibility on getting uh, shotgun ammo when you loot those drawers but I think we have enough shotgun ammo 10 bullets is enough for this next segment I don't know if I should do a save before I encounter the that whole other village. Because I think with the amount of saves we could do, I think it, it is quite enough. Wait, there is a strat. This is a strat, and you could one shot and save save your ammo. Just get to that corner. Lead him to the bear trap, and you're good. <laughs> kind of found that out last night. Because I accidentally, like, ran, ran there. Also, this is one of the most important things to do. Kill the rats, because it's one of the uh, side quests. Because the point is, we're going to grind for spinels of the... Uh, of For the Chicago Sweeper. Man, this is the run killer. I don't know how I did not kill this rat yet. There we go. Again, I'm not sure if we should save because, again, it could be very hectic if you mess up one time on on this part. Not, not on this one, the, the next part. The rat almost caused a restart. <laughs> Uh, I'll be taking these bags. There you go. And then we're gonna put the put the rubies in. Who's that? Uh let's see. Let's do welcome. Just pause. Well, look at you. Something new for you, mate. All right, and then we're gonna power up our pistol. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> our craftsmanship to 
And then... Oh, there is already a case upgrade. But we don't really need the case upgrade. We're just going to go for simple tune-ups. Because we're just going to be running running through here. We're repair. Increase durability. And we don't need to upgrade the, uh, the shotgun at all. So... I think we are chilling. Rifle is literally for later. Hell am I? She's not dead. Wow, I have 70 bullets in professional mode. That's crazy to see to see that. All right, so here there is a freebie of the first aid kit and a yellow herb. Okay. I did not expect her to grab immediately, but I should have. Pretty much we're using their dynamite to uh, to kill each other. And get the free flash. That's the most important one, is the flash. And then we're going to go for the small key. Because it is important for our treasure. See, it gets completely crazy, so I gotta, I gotta lock in. There will be commentary in the video. <laughs> just use your shotgun if they just run up in front of you. That's why I did not want to use my shotgun in the village segment, because just for this segment itself, again, it gets very hectic. <laughs> Unfortunately, the dynamite did not blow up. It did not. It did not want to blow up at all. So this is our opportunity to use this. God, that's unfortunate. But yes, run for that. The ruby. Oh man, this is all messed up. So this is what I'm gonna do. We gotta improvise, so we gotta use a flash instead. There you go. And get the hell out of here. That never happened. That actually never happened, but at least we're home free and... Oh god, not yet. <laughs> Jeez. But pretty much getting the treasures as like in, in these runs are very important because money will become an issue and the plan is to use at least two rocket launchers uh, in this playthrough. We could maybe squeeze in another rocket launcher but I guess it depends on again how, how you're spending your money. But yes the first small key to get this treasure for the elegant mask and again we don't have enough of the uh, rubies yeah so elegant mask will be used for later <laughs> Why not treat yourself? but we did get we did get rid of uh, the <laughs> segment I was worried about because if you again if you mess up on one second of your movement on, on your route it could cause like a whole other variation of a different scenario See, if I sneak up and kill him, I'm going to be facing another guy. So we're not going to... Might as well just use our pistol. Yeah, see, I knew it. Again, we're using first aid because we're saving the herbs for... Ooh, he is transforming. We don't want that. We're saving the herbs because if we bump into more yellow herbs, uh, we could just use them for later on. 
But yes, another treasure is here. Where's she at? I don't know where she- oh, okay, she went back there. So I actually recommend to actually kill her because we, we are going to be looting. She does follow you. Because pretty much the next area is the chainsaw guy and I want y'all to loot this area and also treasure. Oh, I missed. There is treasure here. So yeah, there is things to loot. And you do get an herb here. You just be careful the bear traps because the chainsaw guy could literally come through immediately. As soon as you get near this area. See, that is very risky. That's why you, if you mess up one little movement, what I'm doing... You could literally just kill yourself, just like that. Just being one-shotted. Also, there's bear traps around here, so stick to the... By the building. Do not go in the bathroom. And when you open this up, you get free ruby. Get the egg for additional health. And we get another small key in the corner for something we're going to be using later on uh, and that's in I think when we start free roaming and the code is the grapes then the pig and then the baby so affected will come in stay at the side of the table then just run around I did it a bit late Kind of juked a bit late, but again, he didn't really come through. And put in the puzzle. Time pauses when you put in puzzles. So you're completely safe. There we go. And we are coming back here, so put down that lift. Or that lever, I mean, and get the key. Also, there was ammo to get as well. And that's chapter. That's the end of the chapter. So we survived first two chapters without any sort of save. We will be needing the dog since we'll we're, we won't be completely um uh upgrading our weapons the dog does actually damage the uh el gigante so that's what we're gonna be doing uh we just need as much damage as we can in our actual boss fight and that's when the sniper comes into play Or actually, the um, small key though of what I'm about to... Yeah, I forgot. We're bumming into another small key, I think. Yeah, because we're going to get this. We're going to open up this one. This treasure here, actually. And then we're going to be opening up the one at the lake settlement. Which is what we were at earlier. You know, I'm curious. I... I wonder if the guy will pop out. He didn't. Okay, he does not show up in this chapter, so you can loot that box if you if you want. So when that happens, pretty much shoot that or knife it and go down here so you don't have to deal with the dogs. I think four barrels are down here. Oh, nice, they gave me an extra knife. I'm actually very happy. I'm very happy with that. That helps a lot.
And then there is a DLC treasure, but we're not getting that. Can we knife her? Okay, I guess not. Okay, we're just gonna mind our business. They don't come inside anyway. I messed up on knifing her. So this is one of our important ones. Uh, the first snake is in here, so get that. Hopefully you have room. I'm gonna loot this. Oh, more shotgun shells. Oh, that's what I what that's what I need. It's be great. Uh, and then treasure will be here. So just oops, might as well get that. Um, and then there is a guaranteed first aid spray in here and shotgun shells. I remember I got a spindle in there before as well. Spindles are they they're just purely RNG. You don't know when you're gonna get them. And then knife that. Welcome. Got some rare we're gonna go sell, and also we're gonna sell our Viper because our briefcase is still small. So we're gonna we're gonna sell it for more. Have much more inventory. We're also gonna go for our first. Um. Or actually, should we go for our first upgrade? I'm not. Probably not. Actually, yeah. I mean, we don't have to worry about upgrading, so. That's honestly fine right now. And then we could use the blue for the elegant mask. Wait, I'm just checking my request real quick. Oh no, I didn't do my medallion? I didn't get every- Oh, I forgot to shoot one more medallion. Ooh. Damn, I messed up. We could we could always come back though, because we are we are coming back to to that farm. I was like I I feel off with uh, how much I have right now. So this run is uh I guess I did mess up on my run already. Don't worry, I'll put I'll probably put it edit to uh, let everyone know <laughs> get all the medallions. And knife these. Because regardless, you're not going to have the Chicago typewriter pretty much until, um, Pretty much until like the the we're getting the treasure here, by the way, and flashbang. Oh, we are getting. We should also get the resources. But yeah, yeah, uh, you're not gonna get the Chicago typewriter until uh, the castle area. So regardless, it's okay if you do miss one, at least one side quest, you know. Wait, let's craft. Or no, we could just do this. Yeah. See, I played this game so many times, so like I I assume already I, I did certain things, but <laughs> Yeah, clearly I, I did it. I thought I already had that um that last medallion. I know where that last medallion that well what I missed. Where I can shoot this guy. I was trying to shoot the torch. We're gonna get our second snake in here, so. We do have a lot of grenades. I did not expect to have a lot of grenades. We're just waiting for them. Okay, they're not. Normally they would run up to you. Oh, there's another guy. So we're gonna use our shotgun and just get out of here. We just keep running.
So they're not going to chase you here. You're pretty much safe once you hit here, but I... Oh, there's our first spindle that we got. But hopefully you have flash grenades, because that's why I picked. I showed where to pick it up, uh, up earlier. Because we're going to get all this loot here. And the dog... I don't know where the dog is at. Oh, there he is. Normally the... Ooh. Normally the dog is like... Ooh! Dog! Uh, let me talk! Damn! God damn! I didn't want to do that. I didn't... <laughs> oh, man. You could also... You don't even have to pick up that ammo. I was just trying to loot the dog. Wait. Yeah, we're pretty much just collecting all, all the loot here. Because you want as much money and treasure... Uh, for this playthrough because it's such it's very important also there is treasure to get up here you could also come back for it after the El Gigante fight our first medallion would be there as well if you also I forgot I forgot to mention it this is very important if you want to know where all the medallions are marked in the um, in the map uh, just you have to pick up the quest so the same thing could go for the farm earlier of the other medallion that I skipped so they do show up once you pick up the the quest so it's important to pick up the medallion quest so you know if you don't really memorize where the medallions are just pick up the the quest the quest line and it should mark it on your map for you and we're gonna leave like the loot here for later cuz I don't wanna really be filled up with resources <laughs> In, in my briefcase. I mean, I think we could we could actually go for an upgrade, um, but again, it's it's not as as necessary. Also, this is completely optional, but I'm just here testing out my luck. But let's say because a lot of good charms are with um, one silver token, or I mean two silver tokens and one one gold token. You have a potential charm to get which is the 8% movement speed and that's really useful in, in professional especially because um, they're very aggro to you and besides these only take about a minute of your time two minutes this is a problem if you're a speedrunner but we're not speedrunning we're just teaching you how to get the S plus uh, on professional There is some bullet travel, so... Yeah. Remember, shoot the dynamite for additional points. Uh, I get this? Wow, I actually got that. That was the first time. We got four tokens and one silver token. So let's see what we'll get. Oh, it's a silver one. Oh, they give us the worst one out of everything. I'm so sad. We, we could also potentially grind on, uh, on getting, you know, uh, much more. Oh, thanks. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it, Theo. Um, we could potentially grind more uh, charms later. Not by doing the shooting range, though. By, again, using our leftover spindles. That's completely optional. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that when when looting certain barrels or boxes any or just pretty much anything that that you, that you could loot up also another yellow herb is here so we're going to mix it up uh you're able to get additional you're able to get additional treasure um like like velvet blues at least So it's always nice to be constantly looting because you do have 
a chance on getting multiple treasure from normal crates. Pretty much, we're not going to stay here and fight. Because these guys completely disappear in the next chapter. So, I'm going to take out my shotgun because I did kind of mess up on the run already. Okay, we're good. There is a mine here, so be careful. We go here. And a crow does spawn in here. Shoot the crow because sometimes uh, it drops a ruby. Just You saw that crossover? Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah, get your shotgun out and get ready to run. Oh, that's unfortunate. Man, you see how much damage they take up? Normally, yeah, that, again, that was the first time that happened. There's always something random that's going to happen uh, in this game, so just always be prepared on what will happen next. Nice. You pretty much want to use that mine to uh, take him out, like stun him and he'll like back up towards the mine. Oh man, I was with the jukes on... And then yeah, yeah, so pretty much these projectiles people... Any Anyone with throwable items, they're pretty much a threat to you in, in your professional run, especially you'll see it a lot in the castle. They will absolutely kill you. Now, again, if you're very confident in the Delago fight, be my guest and, and you know, don't go for the save and just save it for literally another time. But I'm going to save because, oh my god, I didn't mean to jump off. Um, I'm going to save because uh, sometimes in the Delago fight, it gets completely random. So, if I die, if you die, you could literally... Um, Quit the game, quit the game first, and then reload the save uh, from the main menu. Never reload the save from uh, from the pause menu because it'll still count. Your it'll, it'll still put up your timer, so you don't you never want to do that at all. Also, by the way, we are not going to be using the DLC charms or uh, or cases for this run. Oh, by the way, this is from another another day. We are on 424. This was from literally yesterday when I was just practicing. But yes, we will save on there. See? Well, chapter 3, and let's do the Delago fight. Sorry, I thought you could skip it. Now we could do it. All right, here we go. One of the one of my favorite fights of all time. Also, you can move your boat while uh, while you're aiming, so I think that's important to keep in mind because it was gonna do that. <laughs> that's why I mentioned that. You could just throw a spear into the mount. But the thing is, it does give you limited mobility. So again, just be be careful how you... You have to really watch its movement if you really want to know what it's about to do. Since I did the fight multiple times, I'm kind of confident on on how to react to certain things. Oh man, I'm not throwing those pretty far. I missed I missed out on potential damage already. Yeah, the more spears you throw at it, the less the less time you'll be stuck on this fight because you could literally be stuck on this fight forever. So 
literally don't miss and when you throw these spears as I literally missed right now. Oh, see? That's what I mean. It almost jabated us to an obstacle, so you gotta keep watch on 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 these certain objects that's that, that in the river. Oh, see? That's what I mean. It just leads us to that. That's what happens when you're also aiming. It's sometimes good to like let go of the aim button so you so you can have full movement to dodge the stuff much quicker. Got one. Where'd you go? Yeah, wait for the mount to be open because I remember before I I would throw it immediately and uh, Oh god, I would throw it immediately and Sometimes it, it just takes it just takes up your spear doesn't stun it and Then it'll it'll go ahead for the kill Oh my god, I'm just missing easy shots See, like, I could not even see where that thing was. That that obstacle, because so much water was on my screen. See, he's trying to get us with the Jebates now. I'm surprised it's just not, it's not dead yet. We did throw a lot of spears into it, you could literally see. There we go. I was getting nervous there because the fact that it damaged me, <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. So, this is the free roaming segment of the game, which is my favorite part to do here. And again, it's this is the one of the most important uh, things to do in this run. Because this is your time to get the treasure, do some looting, also go left for the barrel here. And the thing is, getting the key items is the most annoying part. At least one of the key items. We do have a flash, but we're saving the flash for later. So we're going to stay back because these things could kill you quickly. Or they have they have range so if he gets any closer use the shotgun just save yourself some trouble oh my god I didn't normally he would like fall to the ground but he just turned into a lost plagas immediately Up to you if you want to examine and have your markers on the map by looking into the uh, the lake map here, but I'm just gonna skip it because I already have it memorized. And as long as you guys are watching, y'all are good. Remember, get the key. I always tend to forget to get this key, so just get it. <laughs> also, get this because yes, we'll be selling our first golden egg. Also, we're, we will be selling a Red 9. I personally don't like using the Red 9, so by all means, if you want to keep the Red 9, go for it. But thing is, with my playthrough, we are still stuck on our first briefcase. We haven't upgraded it yet. And also, with the Red 9, it takes up a lot of space, so that's why I don't really bother using the Red 9. Also, Bloom as well. So, I use the Red 9 to sell it. It would be, it would be great if you actually 
have a charm that gives you the um, full resale value for your weapons um, or whatever whatever that charm is that gives you more money when you sell your weapons because that's very useful in your run uh, or again the 8% movement speed or the uh, oh man do I have room I should have went to the whatever I guess we have to do this now and then eat this egg as well just to heal be, but yeah, like pretty much anything involving the ammo charm that that you get full value for selling it. Also, there is a treasure here to get, uh, or like, or you get full full value on selling your weapons. Those are really handy, other than the movement speed. And we're gonna go here. We're pretty much going around the whole map to uh, to to collect what we need, and this is our first key item. I have it memorized. Pretty much, it's like ha almost half the circle. And get remember, you got the hexagon pieces because that's what I always forget. Now you could. Honestly, pick up rifle ammo, the those two rifle ammo. But the thing is, I just don't have room. Or maybe we can make room for this because we will get uh, the sniper in this chapter. And also, your first uh, treasure will be here. So we get that, and we get a ruby. There is a um, expanded DLC treasure, so if you do have it, uh, just go for it. But again, this is a walkthrough of just using the base game's treasure and items. We are not using any DLC whatsoever. So we're going to go to the lake settlement. And this is a bit tricky because, well, not really, but um, I hope you guys have the uh, your flash grenade because that will be important because we're going to be getting one of the tre we're saving a small key for a castle but the current I hope you also kept your small key because we'll be also opening this up the other small key that we'll be getting is from the church where Ashley's at and also the one from upstairs here uh, yeah it's in here also we're going to be getting the loot that we didn't get earlier so that's, hand that's just handgun ammo if it was shotgun, that would have been amazing. But yes, there is treasure down here to get. And there it is. Again, treasure is just... Knowing your treasure routes are just so important. Because the currency in this game is very expensive on professional mode or hardcore. Uh, yeah, we're not picking up the, picking up that. Hopefully there's shotgun ammo, no? Nope, it's just handgun. So we're going to sneak in and get this guy. Oh. Also, our first, uh, other, our first way shrine treasure, we're going to, like, unlock here. So we're getting that. See, this is basically free money and upgrades because we, we need money for the sniper because we didn't get it on sale like again if you do upgrade for your case and your sniper in beginning of the game uh, when I was getting that medallion earlier um, the thing is I wouldn't know how this uh, playthrough would be um, at, at this point because I, I always skip the sniper it would be a, like a whole variation I don't know how your money would be like I get that might as well just get this so it's the big fish we, we do we are gonna go for the big fish but this is the important one we're gonna shotgun the dog and then throw a flash as we run out oh he did not we're gonna throw Oh, the bear trap! No! We have to throw a flash immediately. 
and we cross them over. I did not see that bear trap. I never bump into that. And yeah, and that's why we keep the flash so that we could just run out of there because we got our gold and then we got our other small key. We're not going to use a small key wherever the merchant is at um, because it's, it's just not worth to worth to get. Okay, where's the... Uh... And yeah, we're going to be going for... Shoot. I think it's time to just go for the merchant right now and, and upgrade and then we'll go back for the... Um... Go back for the... Whatchamacallit? The, the fish, and then we're going to go for the key item. Or we could probably get the key item right now, honestly, because we're not really going to be looting as much. So this is the tough one. Um, this is the annoying one to, to get. And ki let's kill this guy first. He does have the Las Plagas in him. Okay, luckily he did not get the Las Plagas. Oh. Okay, look. Whoo! Two grenades. Okay. He, yeah, I'm just passing by him. Normally the two gr uh, that grenade would get him. And just shotgun your way out, out of here. Dang! I was not expecting them to kill me like that. I right, eat the egg. Caref be careful to not use the uh, golden egg, because you want to sell that. Because it's part of the side quest. Also, I do recommend... Or, I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it to do this, but I like personally doing it. Where I get this, along with the yellow herb. So that I could have... Uh, I legit could have health upgrades early on. Oh man, he reached. Oh, he almost killed me. Oh my god. That was actually scary. But yeah, normally you're able to like run through these guys kind of I'm not saying easily, but but like they they really uh are really aggressive here. Go for the shotgun. What just happened? See, normally a guy is not here either, but... So pretty much we're making a Y formation with the code. Okay, I had iframes. Just shooting just to stun them. And this is why the chicken hat is so important because if you did without the chicken hat, this run would have been much more painful and you would have you would have honestly just fought your way out and waste much more ammo than tank their damage. So I would go to the merchant right now, but since we're here I might as well get this treasure since the boat was facing this direction. And we're going to go for that treasure. And then we're going to go for the way shrine here. So get that. We get this. So we do have those two purple gems, but I recommend not using rare gems, expensive gems on cheap treasure never do that also there is a line of barrels this way so this is free money and we're gonna go right actually not left for yeah for the medallions here we still have to go for the um the fish as well, so I didn't forget about the fish. 
Man, that bot. The weapon sway. And also, we are going to get the treasure for there. There is a quick way to do that. Like, literally one of the hardest puzzles in the game. See, like, I, I wasted a lot of shotgun ammo. Um, and I was not supposed to do that, but we could, luckily, we could craft more. But yeah, pretty much, there there are snakes roaming around here. Like, they, they do spawn around this area or within, uh... The swamps, like if you have your headphones on, they're very easy to hear. See, look, luckily I just found one right here. Just roaming around. There's another one if you... There's a lot of snakes here, basically. There's like over four here. Um, but we're going for... We're going for this, the last piece. And then we're going... Get that medallion here. And there's one more. You could get it from the other side where I was, where I got the snake, but you could just get it through here. It's kind of hard to do, though. See, there's another snake right here. Snake Central over here. And then there's one more in the shed. Oh yeah, it's uh yeah, it's in here. Which is this? Shoot that. And there you go. Oh there. We were lucky by the RNG gods and they gave us more shotgun ammo. go down here and you have to exactly place it how I place it so a basically a b c b and then c so we're gonna do this two times so one two and then do the left side two times one two and then the top only one time there you go And you get more good treasure. Um, I think I do have room. Oh, I don't know why I have another snake on me. Uh, whatever, we could just sell it anyway or use it for health. But we could go now for the... Um, we could go for the fish. And then we put in our key items. The big fish is very noticeable. I think I just killed a small fish, yeah. That's a smaller fish. This is the big one. Very noticeable, like I said. It's a thick boy. There we go. Luckily we have enough room. See, we did that with my level 1 case. All that with a level 1 case. That's why I said, as long as you, you know how to do your inventory management, you're pretty much set. Oh yeah, we should also... Shoot, see, I got hype, like, knowing that I actually got my route right. But, uh, yeah, don't... After the fish, don't forget to do this part. It's, like, literally the most important part if you want to progress. Same mark from the church. Is this the key? Then put that. It doesn't matter wh which way you put it. Alright. And now we could head towards the church. And honestly, four shotgun bullets is enough. Again, we could... Oh, actually, we can't. Um. So... I guess it really depends, since in my case, normally I would have shotgun ammo um, after the boss fight with El Gigante, but since that's not the case right now, um, we might have to really rely on our sniper uh, in the El Gigante fight, our pistol and sniper. So that's a <laughs> 
knew I could count on you. Got some rare Sell these. See, we got so much treasure off everything. Oh my goodness. Right? And then sell the eggs, sell the viper, the bass. More money. We have 100k already. You know? So, that's what I mean. It's like, if you know where to go for... Oh, let's see. Should we upgrade? No, we shouldn't do that. Let's get a case upgrade. And then get a scope and then the sniper. There you go. And then... Um... We're gonna upgrade it. Maybe we can upgrade it one more time. This kind of work is about finesse. Upgrade this one more time. Little bit goes a long way. And with shotgun. Cause I feel like we might I don't wanna touch the shotgun, but at the same time. Molding a weapon mm. to suit your specific needs. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. We might cause we might okay. Cause a cabin fight. I'm. I'm just. I'm thinking right now. We'll upgrade durability for knife. There we go. And then yeah, we'll we'll just. Cause we're not gonna be using the shotgun once we after the cabin fight. So I don't want to like go out all out on it. And I'm not gonna get my value back either. But yeah, right now we got 17 uh, spinels. Um. Oh, I did not sell. Oh, I guess I didn't. I guess I have to sell this still. Never mind. That's why I had another Viper in my thing. Okay. Yeah, we still have to get that medallion uh, at the farm that I forgot, so. I think we are set. Honestly. Um. Oh, yeah, let me shortcut this. Let me shortcut this here. And his shotgun goes here. Maybe we could upgrade the um the capacity. There we go. We could go for our save because I don't know how you guys do well in uh in in the El Gigante fight. So this is our second save. This is a this is a big boss fight, um, with your limited ammo anyway. I mean, you're not the best weapons. So, yeah, we also wanna. I have sh seven shots, so I do wanna craft more rifle ammo. I have a craft bonus. For what is that? Is that like my part of the case? I did not know that. Yeah, so we get resources for to get more shotgun ammo. Get that. And I'm just going to double check uh, if I missed anything. Okay, yeah. I did not miss any of the, uh, the quests yet other than the medallion. Again, we could always go back for that still. It just might be a bit tougher. But, alright, let's go for it. You don't have to... If you're competent with this fight, you don't... You don't have to save at all. I normally don't save, but I'm just showing it for video. And you could go... Ooh! So yeah, sometimes the reach, it, it gets absolutely crazy. Free stuff to get in here. So once he lifts this up, you don't want to run away immediately. When he's about to throw it, run under him. Or, I mean, hey, that worked well as well. <laughs> like... See, it's just hard sometimes to like outrun this guy. And this is the time to use your sniper. Oh, I did not put in the scope. I thought I did already. Also know his cues because he does those charges and that which will one shot you. It is hard to like aim on controller. There you go. I just recommend just shooting it. Your 
your sniper does a lot of uh, damage when it shoots vulnerable weak spots. Does three times the damage. See, look, the grabs, man, like, the grabs just kill you, like, immediately. Oh, man, I missed. I'm gonna go inside this house real quick just to reset so he won't chase me. Thank, good thing I did not use my um, my green herb yet. We're just going to wait for him. Same strat as last time. Oh, I got stuck on something. It wouldn't... Oh, man. I'm just wasting health now. I'm going to eat the egg. So he staggered. Uh, okay. So when he bumps into the wall, we're gonna shotgun him immediately. And then there's no use of a shotgun anymore in this fight. Oh, I missed. Those shots were important because I think he would have went down already. I I was just quartered. Maybe I should have. He has a lot of health. I think our DA is really up high. I think. Oh my god, dude! He's just making us use all our heals. Normally, like, yeah, I'm actually having a hard time. He has a lot of health. He's not dying yet. Oh, man, I missed. Okay. There you go. I didn't miss some shots. It is, it is okay. The thing about on controller with this sniper rifle, Pancake. thank you, dog. Um, is is that like there is? You could definitely feel the weapon sway. I do have a hard time using a hunting rifle, but the hunting rifle does a lot of damage, especially if it's on on low um, upgrades uh, compared to the stingray. But the thing is with stingray, like you don't have to deal with certain certain things um so again i guess it's all up to preference because if you do a body shot with the stingray you're not gonna do as much damage but uh you will always do a headshot a critical headshot with the hunting rifle and stingray um so again it's just preference on what power you want to use with your sniper rifles because body shots not good compared to, uh, with stingrays are not as good compared to uh, hunting rifle while uh, stingrays uh, you don't really deal with much weapon sway and you're pretty much using that sniper rifle for different reasons All right. okay so we made it
Ashley Graham. I'm here to help. Loot up the place. Uh, they do give you submachine gun ammo here, which just don't bother to get. Uh, I don't think the sub is is useful in in uh, in professional mode. Honestly, I think it's just waste of your space and and ammo capacity and your briefcase. It's it's literally a faster way to stun enemies um, as if you're like using your pistol. So we do green first and then red. That's the way I I like to start it off. And then we're going to do blue as last. There you go. So, um, the thing about this run is that it is just not over yet. There's still much more things to worry about uh, <laughs> in this playthrough, unfortunately. So, we have to worry about one of the most, uh, the, again, the, the tough side of things for, for this next chapter. And we're gonna boost up Ashley first on here. But don't go to the ladder immediately. We're gonna. Ashley's just gonna knock that down. It's just to save a little bit more time. And then we're gonna get this uh, treasure here. Another yellow diamond. Because the treasure we're gonna get. Um, that's in a locked drawer uh, gives another yellow diamond and yellow diamonds are rare so oh I did not want to get that well, we could always drop that later so this is the DLC treasure which gives a gold coin which I'm not gonna bother picking up and we already looted this area Now, I think it's completely optional if you guys want to do a little save here. Um, before you do this rough uh, side quest. But I recommend you save before the cabin fight. I get this person first. And then just run. Run for it. Also, Ashley will be good since she has her armor. This situation would have been much more uh, worse if uh, she didn't have the armor. Uh, I think I would have found out another route. Also, it's best to always combine treasure in the same color because there is just much more value and you save your gems much more, like your higher tier gems, uh, better. So, always sell it. Always sell with the same color if you can. Um, but with this, the reason why I'm not using the purple gems on, on this bangle is because the bangle is a cheap treasure and we're saving this for another another expensive treasure so here is one of the worst uh, side quests which is finding the dog and the thing about this is that we have to clear the village first um, so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tough but he has lost plagas are you kidding me and he's running I don't recommend using my sniper ammo, but I thought he, he would die already. I think I could craft more. Yeah, I could craft like one more. 
But this is where we use our grenades, because I haven't been using them. Since Ashley has armor, we're pretty much set. Oh. Here you go. And there's one more. Normally, I they would group up in that room, but like they they really just uh, they all aggro pretty fast. Spread out. Okay, I'll stay back. And I think the village should be okay to loot now. Yeah. There is still more people uh, inside that cabin, so we're not gonna go in there. And we're gonna put Ashley up here. Okay. But typically, yeah, like they would group up within that cabin, that room I was just at, and I would just throw, keep constantly throwing grenades, and then back up a little bit more. But since they were a bit more aggro than usual, um, I just backed up more towards the church and just hold them off from there. Got our bangle right there. Another one. And more shotgun shells. Nice. It's going to be very useful against this uh, quest against the dog. What are we on the timer? We're one hour and 17 minutes in. Honestly, I would do this. Um, my time would be much more... Uh, this is probably a bit more early than I, I usually do, so we're kind of on track. Also, this is like your third opportunity to loot this place if you haven't loot everything yet. But pretty much, this is the only way to trigger the dog, and um, I like since you're going in the house, you might as well just get the treasure that's here. Because we just need much more money for later on. And we got a yellow herb as well. Yeah, the rest is just uh, crates and files and the, the real treasure is the one right here. Is that antique. And we're out and then we're gonna face that dog. I am a bit nervous fighting that dog because I don't know how much damage it's going to do to me. And also we only have like basically one and a half heals. So hopefully I hit all my shots. Maybe on controller I recommend the Stingray since there's just less um... There's just less like uh... Weapon sway. On, again, keyboard and mouse probably a whole different experience. Right, you have more control of your aim, but controller is a little bit, a little bit difficult to to aim, especially when they're moving incredibly fast. But yeah, pretty much you want to clear out the whole village because you want to have room to fight the dog, because villages could just aggro you immediately. Oh, it's about to attack me. I was about to... I was... You, If you have a flash grenade, that would have been worth to use too. There we go. Alright. 
wasn't as bad. Ooh, it just took a big chunk of my health, though. <laughs> Should just get this guy just in case. See, 71k on professional mode. That's actually kind of nuts. You could just run through these guys since. Uh, Ashley has her armor. If Ashley didn't have her armor, then I would recommend it to take him out, or at least stun him to the point where Ashley has enough room to run. I don't know where Ashley is at. So our goal is to get to the merchant. Pretty much. Just making much more room. Oh, he almost kicked us. So, there is a free herb in here to get. That's why I really told you guys to go for it. <laughs> go for the merchant. But let's also get my medallion. There you go. And I think at this rate, you should have 30. 30 spindles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. I got something new. Uh, yeah, I have 33 total, so we are set for the Chicago typewriter. So, spoiler alert. Pretty much, I was actually having a difficult time on the cabin fight, and I am showing an example how to reload your save properly because you don't want to reload your save during the pause menu or the death menu because the timer the clock it will still run you want to quit to the main menu and That's reload awful, it man. because the time resets awful. back wow. to whatever save you load on the main menu okay. anyway well, let's I talk about the right cabin right fight right before right. i actually show uh how i That's got idea. through it and pretty much it was a big struggle for me. I had to do this for about maybe three or four times on the cabin fight just to find an efficient way to show you guys how to get through it. And honestly, just like the village section when you first encounter all the villagers, it just honestly feels completely random. So I actually highly recommend to somewhat upgrade your damage uh, in these fights uh, because you're going to get overwhelmed very quickly. Don't spend too much because, you, again, you want to use those uh, the other uh, pesetas for the uh, upgrade of, uh, of your Chicago typewriter, but it's also the fact that um, you want to do enough damage uh, to these enemies because you get mobbed very quickly just like in the village and it's not gonna pretty much stop until you really kill a lot of them because uh, that's basically how you progress. Like for the end of this cabin fight, one of the special enemies, which is the cow with the sledgehammer, it you pretty much it won't really end unless you kill the sledgehammer uh, mini boss. So it's all about prioritizing. Uh, your damage and also picking yeah, your shots, hit, hitting accurate shots. That's all I could really say. And I'm going to go into it once we head into the gameplay. Okay, so I think this is when I reloaded my save. So I'm starting off the strat by pretty much flash buying grenade. certain recipes. The flash grenade and basically the heavy grenade are the go to recipes. Like they're a must have. And I upgraded my pistol damage, and I think we're just pretty much leaving our shotgun because at this point, spending a lot of damage with the shotgun is very expensive. Also, with the sniper rifle, I don't think it's as necessary. Oh, I, I guess I did do a level 3 for the shotgun because the amount, like, the enemies just, I don't think they really, they had, they just had a lot of uh, health. So even the shotgun wasn't doing as much damage, but. Again, I think level 3 or level 4 shotgun is is fine. It's just the fact that 
the scaling of the enemies is was completely insane. What I did differently in this fight here, also I started off the board um, by putting the uh, the barriers, the the wooden the wooden planks uh, at the inside, or or at basically at our our side um, in the first floor cabin. You pretty much want to use the tables as cover because they're gonna be grabbing on onto you a lot. They're gonna be trying to like uh, mob you immediately. So that's that's pretty much what I was doing. Also, I was applying a lot of uh, pressure, so that's why like I'm I'm being much more aggressive in this fight, and that's why earlier like a few seconds ago I blew up that barrel. So once they come inside, I'm gonna like kind of back up where the tables are so that I I could kind of. Uh, lock down a, a position and and again use the tables as cover so I won't be grabbed very easily because if you're just pretty much in the open and especially if you're surrounded in every angle you're you're just gonna get damaged They're, you're gonna get damaged so easily you're gonna get free damage off you and you don't want that it's a big this definitely like this level is truly a whole survival on uh survival mode on professional mode so uh, that's pretty much what i'm uh, i'm doing and that's why i set the planks uh, by the uh by the tables because again we don't want to be flanked from that angle and as you see um i'm also sort of not really distancing myself from the enemies because if you shoot them far away most likely or at least a few of them they will mutate uh, while they're on the ground uh, so you want to have some spacing where you're able to approach them and, and knife them rather than it being too late as you're trying to run up to them if you're far away shooting. So that's what I did. As you see here, I was able to capitalize and stop the mutation immediately um, before she uh, mutated into a, a much more powerful Las Plagas. So as you see, I'm holding down the spot at, at the corner. But again, there's just a lot of people uh, coming coming in. Also, you want to pick up the planks immediately and and um, board up the window so you can, you're able to progress through the um, house or the cabin fight, I mean, much quicker. Uh, quicker the windows are boarded up, quicker the level is going to be, especially when you eliminate the enemies as well. The, the whole process is just going to be faster. Also, this is one of my favorite spots to hold down as well, which is the stairs. Um, the stairs is a, definitely a good angle to have some sort of spacing, and it's hard for certain enemies to uh, get an angle uh, on you and, and attack you, uh, unless uh, you're maybe at the middle of the stairs, because when you're at the middle of the stairs, there is a gap where they could just throw axes at you or, or something. So pretty much, again, just crowd control on the stairs. And, and holding it down it is appropriate to like hold down the stairs when you're still at the first uh floor fighting them off because uh once they start breaching in the second floor i don't think it's worth to hold down at the stairs i think it's just worth to keep holding down at the uh third floor also uh, was, i didn't like, bother to run, um like run away and i anticipated for a parry because he would have reached me as i was running away anyway so it was either parry or not so i decided to try to parry um, and also, again, just spacing is just so important in, in these fights because you want to, like, again, not just stop the mutation, but it's also you want to, like, keep being much more aggressive and hit every shot as possible because the further you are away, and uh, it is really hard for them to um, hit shots if you're far away because uh, they're really moving a lot and also that was a weird spawn of how that guy just appeared out of nowhere so what i'm pretty much doing i'm trying to like knock down the ladder so they could stop pressuring us and i'm trying to get to the balcony as soon as possible to stop the um to stop the ladder but again there's just so many people around so i was sort of panicking in the second floor there were just there's just not enough uh room in, in this second area so it is actually just i was just being completely overwhelmed the second area but I realize that it's impossible to pretty much fight at the second floor. It's just not as ideal, and it's just better to uh, shoot or hold it down at the first floor where there's much more space. Uh, yeah, even though you're near Luis and he'll be able to help you, um, especially when it comes to, uh, like, you know, uh, when you're being grappled, I don't think um, 
just fighting at the second floor with him is is ideal. It is good to check up on him time to time so you could aggro certain uh, infected towards downstairs and finish him off there. But yeah, pretty much just hitting every shot because you don't get enough ammo in these fights and and having decent damage uh, to them and, and knowing how to react to certain scenarios is very important. So here is the mini boss, which is the uh, cow head. And pretty much you want to elam him immediately so this whole cabin fight could end quickly i don't know how he was able to get me and also i don't know why i wasn't able to uh evade he was pretty far away when uh i literally uh was trying to avoid him but yeah you want to elam him immediately and try to sort of ignore everyone because if you elam him pretty much the cabin fight will uh wrap up and you'll be able to go on to uh the next chapter so that's pretty much the strat that I could honestly give you in, in this in this playthrough. It is definitely one of the hardest chapters uh, to do. Um, so always remember to save be right before the cabin fight. Oh my god, thank god. That was the hardest segment I have actually ever did. Hardcore was not nothing like that. It was nothing like that, I swear. What the hell? Well, we made it. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> I always assume hardcore was like... It's, it's pretty much the same as professional. Maybe I maybe I am right, but... Yeah, it was, it's just insane. Like, I hardcore, doing my S plus run on hardcore was nothing like this. So we're gonna sell this shotgun, and then we're gonna repair this, and then we're gonna buy a whole new shotgun, a riot shotgun, and then we're gonna do a tune-up on the shotgun, and I think doing making it doing eight damage is is good enough. So. And also, we do have a fresh seven. Oh wow, we have way more now. Okay, it's all right. Got it. I'll Wait, I'm just checking the map if I miss any. Okay, we did miss small resources around here. Then crates. All right. So in this section, you're pretty much locking it down by this gate. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And we're gonna get this person and I get the other one there you go I guess we're doing this I it was unfortunate that uh, I didn't switch fast enough Let's go. To... Oh, I thought he was gonna form into uh, Las Plagas. They normally do that just to do extra damage to you. Oh my! That sucks. All right. So, since I have barely any health and I got damaged a lot, I'm gonna buy another health health kit because this is this run is actually ridiculous. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous of how how much you you go through. We do have extra emerald. Um, 
Let's see, we'll do that. Combine both. And then we'll use the two emeralds on here. There you go. That's when when we start selling. Treasure back here. If you're not like me, I do highly recommend you try your best to hit all your shots and save your ammo because um, literally rifle ammo is going to be the key in this fight. It's not going to be your shotgun. I hope by the end of it, we do have enough um, resources and all the other bunch of ammo given to us because we're going to need them. And also watch out. I about to say watch out for the bear traps, but here I am. Alright. I think they're giving us plenty of handgun ammo. Hopefully I don't miss my... My shots on here. So again, very optional if you want to save. Let's just aggro this guy. Bro, I swear, all the time. I just used my shotgun ammo to not waste any more pistol ammo. But in there should be a typewriter if you want to save in here. And there is a... Um... Okay, hold up. What? How much saves are we, we on again? We are on our third. Okay. So if you do mess up or m mess up your shots, because I, I do think, especially on if you're on limited ammo, I recommend uh, you to save and also save before the men does fight. So basically we're going to be on our fifth save in, in the village. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to use it as an example in, for this video. Sorry if I'm a bit low on energy. I was just so tired for that cabin fight. It took me about three tries to figure it out. Like, what's the best solution? And honestly, there really is <laughs> there really isn't the best solution since they have so much health. But there is ammo to get. Don't get that uh, some machine gun. I'm gonna sneak up on him. Get him. The lady Ray saw us, so. We're gonna go for her. She, they don't normally... In fact, oh, a ruby, wow. She doesn't normally drop rubies, so... I was just lucky there. There is a way to shoot if you want to do like a skip of Ashley's... Ashley move. Okay, you're good. Uh, there is a lock to shoot if you want to do a skip. You could start here. If you want, if you just want to get straight to it, right? Um, but since I'm still looting the area, because I'll teach you a certain strat to deal with, especially if you're with limited ammo, is pretty much pretty much uh, we're gonna be getting out of this place, so that's why I recommend you just loot first. Also, might as well just put Ashley in the the locker for the hell of it. I mean, she's definitely fine without armor. They can't even carry her, but why not, right? And also, we're going to get one of the last few treasures here. Also, there is a expanded treasure DLC around this uh, map. I think it's... 
think it's like, yeah, right there. So, again, we're not using that type of treasure. We're using it for another. Uh, we're, I mean, we're using it for base game. See, I can't even think straight anymore. But, yeah, pretty much... Uh, I think we are done using the Way Shrine key. And we're set to face off the... You know, we got our treasure, got all our loot. Just make sure... They do give a guaranteed first aid spray. And I'm just checking the map and see if I missed any. If I walked around it, it seems not. And pretty much, um, as soon as we pick this up, we're going to head straight out. And there's, hopefully they, they could just follow us. reason why I run around and give a lot of spacing is just simply because like these people have a long lunge just like that see I should have shot him with my shotgun but I didn't bother to and I'm gonna shoot this immediately so that they could get burned missed So, as soon as you... Yeah, see, they don't bother... Oh my god, I keep missing. So, you see how much the sniper does so much damage? Unfortunately, that wasn't the one that we're going for. But pretty much, it's a little, again, it's not a glitch, it's a little exploit, if you understand how they react. And as long as you keep hitting headshots, it should be fine. Out of the way. You see? See how she hesitates to go back? You save a lot of ammo like this. She has a lot of health. There you go. She had a lot of health. It wasn't supposed to. Man, this run is just not going well, but a lot of the stuff that I'm trying to show you guys are not showing in this playthrough. And it's just not working out well. But yeah, you could do the same same exploit with the, uh, the other guys as well. So that you could hit your shots more easily and so that they won't aggro you. I'm saving my shotgun ammo for uh, Mendez. That's why. Ooh. Might have to use our grenade. Oh, that was so close. Oh, I did not see him. See, he's taking a bit longer than usual because they just have a lot of health. I mean, if we craft a flash grenade, I think we should be good. through that or oh, was that his thing okay come on yeah that's pretty much how you clear this place up 
not as uh, it could have been tough as tough um, if you were stuck here running around and trying to shoot them just like the cabin fight but since you kind of know that little exploit of knowing where the AIs have their certain boundaries at you could take advantage of that and and capitalize on on how they are behaving Seems this isn't your first time running. But the second chainsaw sister had tons of health. That was not supposed to happen. Like I did like so many shots on her compared to the first one. Okay. Gunpowder. Alright. So turn around, run. I'm gonna shoot this guy. Stun him enough so we could have more leverage to run. Shoot the barrel when two people are in front of it. And yeah, shoot the guy with the pitchfork because he's the one who's definitely gonna get you while you're running. But there you go. Listen, we made it. He wants. If we see him again, you run. B what about you? I'll do my job. You have rifle ammo. That's a new way, stranger. You're in for a treat. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. So pretty much, um, we can't really, I don't know what would be wise with our money, but definitely, I think we are good with the eight damage. Um, so we are pretty much chilling with our upgrades. I don't think it's worth to spend 50. 50k to improve your pistol honestly um especially how next chapter we're we're pretty much set so i i guess we're gonna be upgrading our, our sniper from here on out again if you do mess up in, in this fight feel free to save because once we hit once we hit the uh chicago typewriter it's smooth sailing from there um, well, kinda. It's just a matter of knowing how to react to certain enemies. Also, I saw a strat um, where someone just shot the the uh, the boxes, and you could just loot them once the boss fight initiates. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, wow, he grabs so quickly. And not, not giving the boy a chance, man. Evade. Oh. Yeah, when he's about to uh, grab, you could honestly... Um, I think you could duck. I'm just not good at that. You could just crouch. But as soon as... As soon as you uh, got your loot, I recommend just fighting up here. And you don't need to do those reaction prompts. Other than this one. That one is the important one. Was there something I missed? Oh, yeah, I did. A kitchen knife. When he says that, you want to jump off and get back up again. You move quick for such a big bastard. Just. 
doing some combos, you know, with, with the weapons. Because I don't want to fully use my shotgun. First phase done. Climb immediately back up here and start to kind of strafe. Run when he does that charge attack. When you see one uh, wooden plank. Almost missed that. Self explanatory. See, oh yeah, when you see this, don't even move. When you see two wooden planks, don't even move. See that? You run to right. Or, I mean, just run any side of, uh, wherever you have room to run at. When, ooh, when he comes close, feel free to do the, use the shotgun. Oh, I got hurt. I do need to craft more uh, handgun ammo. Fortunately. We might have to... Re oh, he was throwing barrels. I should have paid attention. Running out of ammo. Oh, it took a cheap shot. Come on. He's gonna come again. No? Okay, we didn't really rely on the shotgun that much. But yeah. Again, did it on my first try. Oh man, I missed the uh, handgun ammo back there. But we were able to get through it. Again, this is only our fifth save. So I know certain points where to... Because uh, when you have the... This, this is... Yeah, that's... Okay. This is the real treasure to get. Once you have the Chicago typewriter, again, it's it's smooth sailing. It's just a matter of knowing where to route and not get hurt at. And I don't mind redoing stuff because it's like you have infinite ammo. When you're doing a um, like hardcore professional run, you have to be sort of conservative on, on ammo. And it does get worrisome every time you progress each chapter. But when you have infinite ammo, you're, you're pretty much chilling. So I think this is the chapter, as long as, again, you did all the side quests in Village, and we hit it before the two hour mark as well, um, you're pretty much, like I said, you're able to get the Chicago tie or the Chicago Sweeper, I mean, and uh, you're able to kind of blast through the enemies, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna sell this first, and we're gonna trade for the exclusive upgrade ticket. 
Which weapon will you be given a so again, in order to get the Chicago Typewriter, you would need a complete um, professional mode. So you could just do a new game plus after your standard mode or hardcore mode save, and just use. And you could blast through professional mode easily with your new uh, with your maxed up weapons. So let's get the Chicago type the Chicago Sweeper. Apparently, I have no room, so let's just sell. I'm gonna sell. We no. We no longer need our pistol or our um. Our shotgun. That's why I say like it would be useful to have the charm that gives full value to your um. Uh, when you sell your weapons or ammo, because we're no longer gonna need as much ammo other than the. Uh, oops. Other. I still can't get it. There we go. Other than the, um, what you call it, than than the your sniper rifle, whatever that would be. So once you get this, get the exclusive, use exclusive upgrade because I got it from the, got it from the trading area using thirty spindles. Uh, so once that's done, you tune it up, go to exclusive, and you don't do not upgrade the ammo and reload capacity because you automatically with the exclusive ticket. Um, it gets upgraded with it. The only thing you need to upgrade now is simply the power. And again, you'll naturally like have more things to uh, upgrade uh, once you collect more treasure. So the point of collecting more treasure after the castle segment, I mean during the castle segment, segment is just to upgrade the Chicago typewriter, have more damage. But thing is now again, you're you're set and. Um, as much as I do want to, <laughs> since we are limited on saves, I'm going to keep on playing because I wanted to go off stream. Uh, but we're going to keep on going until, until the, uh, the water segment. So here you could just, again, just keep spraying. Always spray at the, towards the mouth because, yeah, like these things are no joke. Um, on on professional mode, they don't die when you do body shots. I think on standard they do. Just double checking. That. Okay, since you have unlimited. Oh, I'm gonna do a suplex. Since you have a little bit of ammo, you can just run through it. And the first thing you're gonna do is shoot this cannon. It's a little skip. There is also a, a medallion in there to to get. And but those are for again, you don't even have to do certain quests in the castle, but since I still have it memorized, I can still show it for those who haven't done the um I haven't bothered doing the the quest in the in what you call it the the village. Are you kidding me? Sometimes, like with the with the prompts, it's so wonky. Uh, I wish the prompts were a bit better, honestly. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. So we're gonna get this barrel again. It's still worth to loot because you you still want to earn money in this playthrough because we're now we're basically grinding for um. Hold up. We're basically grinding for like uh. Ammo uh for RPGs. So first barrel there, second barrel here. And then there's gonna be a guy on your right. So just prepare for him. Oh I missed, are you kidding me? Alright. Do it again. And then we're gonna fire at these guys. They have no idea. Oh, they didn't get it. They didn't get everyone. 
Whatever. I'm just gonna explode this now. It's open. Go. So again, if you want the medallions, uh, you already saw the first one that I got over there when we went to that little uh, chapel. But the second one would be here. The uh, third one, or this could be considered second, is right up here. You could just use the cannon for this, or just snipe it. However you prefer. And this one is basically where you get the cannon at. Then go up this ladder. Oh, there's... The... So that's the fifth one. There's still someone in... Uh, someone shooting stuff, huh? Dang, I should have known. I should have just t took him, took him out. Don't be like me and just skip through it, but yeah. Here's the last one. And then there is also treasure. That's why I showed you guys as well where all the medallions were. Oh, wow. What timing. Wow. We're just gonna go. Well, don't forget about that guy. Is there a red barrel there? I have no idea. But pretty much you're done with the uh, this whole area. If you do want to... Uh... Hold up. I don't want to like trigger the guy. I'm just trying to show, show you guys... Wait, where is the blue medallion area? I guess, cause they would have a, like a blue medallion sheet around here somewhere. But since I guess I already did it, it's it's no longer you could pick it up. But if you pick up that sheet, that quest line, uh, it'll show where all the medallions are in the map. If you haven't had it memorized, oh, we're just gonna sell that. I see you took care. <laughs> nice work. I got something new. So yeah, let's just sell... Oh yeah, we don't need this. We don't even need a shotgun ammo. We just keep the rifle ammo. Thank you. Well, okay. And... I'm not sure if this is really worth to use all gems for, but yeah, we're just gonna keep it around, just in case. Also, I hope you guys still have the small keys, because we do have one more for... One more for something. So let's take him out. There will be a guy behind you. But get the shield guys first. Or the guys that are aggroing you. Oh, I forgot about the guy behind me. I literally uh, said it out loud too. There you go. So after you wipe out those guys, the reason why is because I think it's worth to lockpick this. This drawer here. Unfortunately, my stream got cut off. So here is me reloading my save and showing where the loot is. So this is pretty much where the lock drawer is and you'll get a gold bar from it. And once uh, Ashley opens up the door from you, there is a another like artifact to get from the castle or basically treasure uh, here at the back. And again, might as well get it. Free loot since you're there. And now we can continue the video. Give us handgun ammo. Just randomly, even though we don't have it anymore. So we go on our left, there's more treasure. And also ammo. Whatever it's gonna be, it's probably handgun ammo. Oh, some machine gun. Looks like we can continue on this way. I thought it was like a static handgun ammo. So, thing about this fight, it's gonna be tricky, and hopefully, I don't get damaged a lot. And let's see if there's legit ammo to get. Nope. Do they keep down here? 
But yeah, this Garador, Garador fight, it's gonna. might be risky to do. So yeah, let's just sneak out. We'll sort of take our time here. Yeah, you could run out and. and you know, kinda. lure him out. Oh god, is he going towards me? Oh wow. Okay, I because I hit the chains. But pretty much what I was trying to do is be sneaky, right? And then you could hit him from behind. Once he turns his back, just spray. And then just... Be much more sneaky about it. I am panicking right now. Oh, he got me. Wow. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is like the con about it. And also, your Chicago typewriter is not as strong yet, so... It will be hard to take down. But again, don't be like me. You should not try to avoid hitting the chains and... Uh, maybe sort of run out if he does hear you and then reposition and try to sneak up like hide and sneak up and Hit those shots of what I just did Well, we did get a free gem. That's why I wanted it. I mean it is optional to kill him But you might as well since you have infinite ammo Oh yeah, that was a static uh, drop of a, a spindle, by the way. So we're going to shoot this. So it goes for Snake and Eagle. Snake is over here. Eagle all the way in the back. There you go. There is additional loot to get. Ooh, gunpowder. Normally gunpowder doesn't spawn there for me. What's that used for? Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of... Collect these and put the sword, the one with the blood and then rusted sword here at the end with the grave, golden sword with the king, and then iron sword with the knight. There is... There is another if you haven't done your snake quest, there's a there's another snake to get here. I just got it for health if I need health later. So pretty much here you wanna shoot or actually actually could get that for you if once you hit the first one, but um pretty much you wanna go towards this way. And go for the go for the snake here, and you unlocked that main door you need to go to. Then there's treasure in this corner, golden hourglass. Just to let you know, we're basically done with this area. We're no longer backtracking here. Uh, we're not gonna bother getting that because it's just not worth to backtrack all the way in the beginning of the map once we go through the game. Where are you, my mother? And again, look, look at our money. We're back on 100k. So we could upgrade our Chicago typewriter once we see the uh, merchant. But this is where the tough one begins, even with infinite ammo. And it's just simply because... Um, 
this guy again. <laughs> Not this guy again. It's just simply because, like, you have to deal with um, this annoying water area. So, uh, what were we gonna do? Oh, I forgot to get the guys. Hold up. The cross. Oh, I almost messed that up. So there are there are crossbow people. Ashley, move, please. With me. Okay, it's all right. Okay. There are crossbow people, so get them first. Good thing they they actually didn't aggro on us. And then we trigger them, and we're pretty much gonna fight fight this off here. You want to be careful on your sides because, yeah, they, they could just get you very aggressively on your blind side. Just pretty much spray and pray. Just wait for them to open the door. I think they're going to open the door, no? Yeah. I do recommend saving before you, but since I did numerous of saves, I might as well just do do the first half. I recommend probably doing like saving like after. Oh, saving after you deal with these guys. The crossbow people are. Oh God. Yep, that was. Bad idea to open that up. So just waited. Next. But the crossbow people are the worst because they do the most damage to you. And if we mess, if I do mess up, I'm gonna go back and and hit the. Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go back and to the merchant and probably get a first aid spray. There is another one. There you go. Oh, yeah, there's there's just four total, huh? Since he's closer, I was just seeing if I could spray. Okay. Loot around for ammo. I just realized I did not even upgrade my um, my case. I think it's appropriate to upgrade your case at this point. But we'll improvise. I just real might as well just reveal them. Oh, the other guy didn't transform? I'm surprised. I just wasted a sniper shot. You see how much? Like, I don't want to wait. See, you have to wait for them to open because they don't... <laughs> they don't take any damage. Oh, what? Where did he... He just did a sneak attack on me. I don't like that. Oh, someone's mutating. Great. There you go. We did have an extra flash anyway. See, sneak attacks like that... Come on, man. I do recommend also, like, uh... God, how many of these things? I do recommend wearing a headset. I'm not even wearing a headset right now. So you can know some certain sound cues. I would have known he was behind me if I actually heard him. I do apologize again for commentary. 
because it is sort of hard to play and explain certain stuff at the same time. But I'm doing my best. I'll, like, once I edit the video, hopefully my editing and inserting my commentary could do well. My edited commentary. But pretty much what I'm doing is, is just scouting for more loot. And as soon as you put this in, there's going to be someone spawning in. So get her. And then there's going to be another one showing up. Oh, he didn't die. Okay, he ended up dying. Damn. So, we're going to put this down. There's going to be a two two or three crossbow people, and it's going to be really annoying, but let's drag out. We're going to drag out the enemies downstairs, because if you try to contest that person, that person is just going to be annoying with a crossbow and just take up a lot of your health. So, we're just going to wait for them. I might as well just hold it down, down like literally where I'm at. Instead of uh, trying to deal with the crossbow people. Again, like I said in one of the first chapters, the most deadly enemies are the projectile characters. You just simply don't want to deal with them at all. There's probably like a few more coming. Yeah. There's like one more. Damn. Damn. Yeah, this is the second one. Hurry up, let's just get this over with. I hate this segment. No matter... Oh, we're just gonna get that. Go back down real quick. Because that person has an angle on us. Oh, I missed that sway. Good thing I hit that. Good thing I hit that too. Did I miss? I think I got, got one of them. And the other one is a cross. Oh, man. There you go. She did? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. So the reason why I kept the sniper is for certain segments like this with Ashley, I think it's uh, somewhat of a necessity to, to have the sniper with you. Just to make the process much easier and faster. But the sniper is really needed in this... Well, not really needed in this segment, but the other segment where... You guys are split apart from the uh, bars at the island. Again, I'm just looting around... Checking if there's any sort of chances to have any more velvet blues, any sort of treasure, any money is pretty much good. So when this, when doing this segment, especially if she doesn't have armor, it is more of a pain. But since she has armor, uh, you're pretty much safe to like keep spraying, because I think this segment is. Even though you're so close to, like, beating this segment, you could easily shoot her, especially with a submachine gun. It happened, happened to me with the uh, TMP. Come on. But yeah, also, don't forget what I just did is uh, initiate one of uh, the first, like, pathway. Okay? But yeah, you could pretty much cover her from, from far away with the Chicago typewriter. Like, I'm not comfortable on controller using the, um, like, using the bolt action. Because, like, uh, I, I just want to, like, 
reserve more ammo for it and also again there's a lot of weapon sway on controller with the bolt action compared to stingray that's why like i i probably do recommend using a stingray if you're on controller that's just me though oh you try to pull up you got you you do have to be careful who pulling up on you Because, again, these guys could do much more damage. Hang on. I've got you. You pretty much want to be here to defend. I did not know that he was here. There's so they they spawn so many people even Wow. Luckily none of these guys have lost plagas because it would have been this process would have been much more annoying. Go ahead and collect the loot. Oh, I missed. See, that's what I mean. Yeah, like if you don't have the Chicago typewriter <laughs> by that uh, the water hallway segment, it is gonna be hell for you. And I highly recommend to to do a save uh, before you do the um, before you put Ashley up there. If you don't have the Chicago typewriter yet. But I'm happy that <laughs> this segment is just done. The only things that I'm afraid is the uh, the Garador segment. Also, if you do need additional health like me, there is fish to get in here. There you go. Also, there is a side quest to do. So there's that for those who need more spinels for the hell of it. There we go. See, that's what I mean. We got a chance of uh, having a velvet blue in one of the the chest. How much would this be? Just an experiment. 35k. See, I don't know if that that's really worth. I might as well just save that for another time. Uh, red, red. There you go. Been a rough day. Welcome. And now we could new. sell and also upgrade. And we also get additional spindles. Just double checking. I think you're pretty much good on level 3 uh, for your Chicago typewriter um, throughout this whole playthrough. And... You're you just honestly just upgrade the, the sniper or like save money for um save money for other like other stuff you need to upgrade with or buy RPGs with because again I think what's most important is conserving your money for RPGs. So here, this is a little tricky one. Is pretty much you wanna stealth this even though you do have unlimited ammo 
it is better to just the stealth. And there is a treasure to get. And don't run completely. Then there's gonna be someone here. Run up to her. Knife her. Reg destroy everyone here. And then pretty much beam him. Did a whole assassination on this guy. It's unfortunate that uh Okay, there we got him. He jumped down. Again, those crossbows are deadly. Oh, while I was on fire, that was epic. And we're gonna get this. This is the key item. And, but don't forget to get this. Also, be careful where you're landing. Because you could, could literally set yourself up and jump down on people that could just grab on you or just take a chunk of damage on you. And we're gonna run. Also, grenades will be clutch for one of our next areas. And you'll see why. First encounter with Ada. There is something in here to get. So we're gonna get the Velvet Blue. Get this treasure here. Got the clock. Now, we do have an extra small key, but we are not gonna use... Or actually, yes, we are gonna use a small key for for this area, actually. Or wait, I already used it? Oh. Oh no! Yeah, we used it earlier, I forgot. We're not gonna get this treasure. It's not worth to get this because the other small key, uh, we're gonna go for the, um, the beetle. That's about like 20k. Which we will receive... Oh wait, where, where's the other book? Looks like a trick door. Oh, I, I totally skipped it. Right here. Because our next small key, we're not going to backtrack. Because they want you to backtrack for this lock drawer over here. Like, over there. But we're not going to backtrack for it. We're going to just keep going forward because there's going to be another lock key. Or uh, lock drawer to open. Okay. Pretty much that. There you go. That easy. That should do it. Once this is solved, the small key yeah, should. Need to find Ashley. Oh, small key's not here yet. Oh, great. But yeah, small key was right there, where I just picked up. Again, we're not going to backtrack. We're going to keep going forward because there will be another locked drawer uh, in our route. Those things are so annoying. Also, this is completely optional. You could you could go for a snipe if you want. Oh, I missed. I can't believe I missed. What? It didn't hit? It didn't hit? Oh, man. There you go. This is why I say it's completely optional, because you could just run through these guys. Okay, hold up. There you go. I'm going to reload first. And get that grenade ready. Because it would be charging at us. I don't want to use our flash. We're going to save that flash for some other time. Oh, you were expecting me. I'm going to throw two grenades. Just 
clear it out first. Oh. Didn't die. Thought it died. First one here. So there's a there's a little lock that you could unlock by using a grenade if you throw it here. So we're gonna be we're gonna be smart about it. And with you have to angle it a, a certain way, because it you could easily hit the door. So once that's done, shoot this. shoot them real quick oh oh wait I did not see this guy there's also um, a ladder here by the way I just wanted to clear that out first before like I head out but oh what the hell it's the guy that was chasing me earlier oh oh man it's just it got cooked but there's Something up here. Hopefully, there's just no random enemy hitting me. Yeah, because I cleared him out earlier. But you get another yellow herb here. So let's get that. <laughs> let's get this right away. I hella risk that. I don't recommend you run around while you're one shot. And you get another treasure up here. So. Feel free to go back up there. Again, we're still on the clock, so do everything pretty fast. I am a bit, kind of going a bit slower since I have to really explain and show what's going on. Let's just get that guy. He's annoying. So again, we're doing the same strat. We're going to throw, throw it here. And then our best friend is here. Run for your life. Or you could take your time and get to cover. There will be a guy chasing you, so hit the left. Duck. Oh man, that's still. Oh man, he got a little angle on me. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna rush this one. We go here. To play this a little bit. Oh god, that's so annoying. That's actually so annoying. So go down here. There is treasure to get. Additional treasure. Shoot that. Oh. I shot it. I'm gonna shoot this too once he. Or maybe he just died. Nope. I'm gonna wait for Algigani to throw. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna run for it. And this is the lock drawer I was talking about that is worth to unlock. Get that. Get that. Got the beetle. I'm gonna take the ladder up here. <laughs> what? That person? Man. But yeah, that, I was about to say that person just randomly dropped weird. It was so funny. Get that. Then just wait for El Gigani to throw. Wait for him to throw first. And then... And that's unfortunate. That's see, that's, that's what I mean when this game is completely random. And I just used all my health. Right when I was about to shoot him. <laughs> so we're going to shoot these guys first. And then they're ch they're chasing me. I'm just gonna run for it. All right, open for traffic. 
Actually, no. Screw, screw the crossbow people. They're my worst enemies. Oh. More of them. It's honestly annoying to do. That's why, like, I was having trouble with this game and why it took me so long to sort of create a guide video for RE4 is simply because, like, I don't know what to account for certain variables uh, in this playthrough because it's a lot, like, RE4 is just about improvision um, and knowing how to react to how enemies are. I can't believe that. Here. You do have a herb though. I think they do give a yellow herb around here. Okay, wait. See, look at that. We're getting a lot more velvet blues around here. If you do have extra flashes, you could get these crows, honestly. Only got, only got one. But, hey, an opportunity for any of you guys who want it. Oh, it's a freaking snake still got me. Wait, I just recommend just looting up the area because you never know what you're going to get. Also, first dog will spawn in and just shoot immediately. Sorry, doggo. I like the dogs in this game. But yeah, like, um... First aid spray. It's a must get. Now there is a strat. Hold up. There is a strat to not... Trigger... Them to really aggro you. And pretty much... Up. There is a way. You pretty much have to aim for. Actually, it's so weird in this angle. Like you want to aim for the head of the the second one. I just don't know when. It's it's easier to see with a bio sensor scope. Hold up. Let me try to. Yeah, this is the only side I could do. There you go. That's how you do it. Prepare for another dog to pop out. So for here, there's gonna be there's gonna be another dog here waiting for you, and then there's gonna be another dog here. We're gonna go for this dog, either for a snipe or just SMG him with the Chicago typewriter. Because if we go for this dog first, the other dog will start running around here and he's just gonna do free damage on you once he meets up with you. See, we got that dog. And this dog is gonna go up. Ashley's covering my way. And... That could have been... We, we almost messed up. Because of Ashley blocking my way. So once we go on our left, there is treasure right here. See, must get treasure. And then we're gonna open up, unlock our first gate. Or flag. You know, like a few times uh, throughout my playthroughs, I you I sort of have a spindle spawn in here, but unfortunately not on this playthrough. But yeah, free spindle sometimes spawns there. Then there's a dog that will pop out. Oh, not in here. Sorry, it's in the other one. It's this one. 
Then here, if you have an extra grenade, you might as well just throw it. So once that's done, there is another dog that is soon to chase chase you or Ashley. Oh, there's the spindle. Wait for the dog, basically. And we're going to go up here. And we pretty much have to save Ashley. There is another strat to this. I tried doing it before, but I don't know how to really work it. So I'm just going to show it my way. So what we're going to do, we're going to stay here real quick, shoot these two people. Oh, he's still alive? What the heck? And then we're going to get Ashley. There will be people showing up. So once that's done, notice how there's no dogs because I never went for this first originally. Once I hit this lever, dogs or other enemies will show up, so we're just going to immediately run to the door. Now we can finally get out of this maze. There you go. And also first medallion is here. One additional loot it's over here. Oh, rifle ammo. We'll take that. Ballroom must be this way. Look, there's a statue up there. We're also gonna go for our second medallion. We're gonna do these quests by the way. There also there's basically two quests to do here. Uh kill the rats and uh medallions. So the first rat is right here. Also place Ashley over here. Leon over here. There you go. Looks like we figured it out. Second medallion is over here. Um, is there any sort of loot? It's a red herb. So we got our first key item. And we're going to just do this one. And the trick is, it, flash or grenade, any of it would help most likely a grenade try to craft it or at least have one or use this heavy grenade and you pretty much don't go all the way throw it and then run and then shoot pretty much want to get them here we are going to come back for their loot because that's just free treasure you know look how many people are just dropping So there's going to be more popping up. Also, our third medallion is... Is here. Ooh. They're popular. Third medallion right here. Or fourth. I didn't even know there were uh, six of them. And more will spawn in. We are coming back for our loot. Crazy out, there's still more people. That was done. I mean, you could. There also is another treasure under there. 
Um, there's a chest, but I'm not going to go for it. It's just a, another diamond. Um, I'm just too lazy to get it. I just might as well just, you know, go on with the quest. <laughs> I mean, uh, with this segment. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's get this one too. So that's the fifth one. Then loot up more here. Bet you could use it like a bulletproof vest. Little old fashioned for my taste. Open this up. Get another key. I think you'd look pretty dashing. Gonna use it for Hmm. I honestly forgot. We'll we'll see, but at, at this point it's not as important to know what certain lock drawers are so if you want go ahead loot around but i'm just gonna go for the lion head since again we're on a timer and we already have ammo and good loot and the knights uh do drop guaranteed spindles so you should pick them up if you are still wanting to grind for more spindles. Oh, damn. You could parry the sword, but again not worth to do. Might as well just run. If I get this ASAP. Oh, he did a whole three. Oh, this is bad. That animation, I don't like that. This thing stunned forever like that. Hopefully, Ashley could help. There you go. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Nighty -night. Nighty -night. You pretty much want to kill the first few waves quickly so that Ashley could help you on the, the last two waves. Because she wastes the lanterns pretty early if you don't if you don't uh, kill him quick. So that's what I was just trying to do. That's why I, was, I seemed like I was sort of in a rush trying to kill a lot of them. Come on. Got it. Also, right there is our second one. And then our third rat is later on in the uh, after the Ashley segment. And Magnum Ammo. And we're going to go for this. There you go. Oops. That's not the one. That's the one. Get that again. Just free treasure. Getting a lot of the treasure in here. Um, yeah, I think it's appropriate to use uh, blue here. We will get more sapphires uh, once we encounter the bugs. So, again, no, no biggie. Uh, I do want to save the red ones. So, because the red ones are quite rare. So, we're just going to do that. We'll just do the two colors for now. Um, again, I, I'm not sure if it's worth to use the purple on, on these. We're just going to be a bit conservative with certain treasure. So this is a way also to, uh, since you did some certain quests, it's a way to, it's a way to like, um, you know, uh, use, um, like, uh, where's the gold token? Oh, they don't offer gold tokens yet? 
Oh, I thought they do now at this point. Normally they would offer gold tokens in any other difficulty except this one. Okay, never mind. I would say, hey, you should use the gold tokens. Could maybe use it on on treasure if you want, honestly. But all right, let's do this Ashley segment. So if you have the armor for Ashley, you're good. You don't have to worry about getting hurt. Also if you notice skips, which I'm probably gonna show, I mean I'm most 100% gonna show, not most likely, uh, you could just literally run through the segment. Also keep in mind this is where, this is the hallway where the last rat is at, so we're gonna come back here as Leon. So for here, it is 7. Hardcore and professional, it's 7 o'clock. Reason why this skip is necessary, because this this whole segment could be a lot longer than it should be when you're actually... But if you take the, long, the longer segment, um, you could get the additional treasure and have much more money. But for here, again, we're, we're set, because I have about... It's not showing, but yeah, we have 200k right now. That's good enough for the next boss fight, which is the Vertigo boss fight. So here we're pretty much gonna ring these things, the, like the bells, in a certain order. Pretty much like a zigzag in a way. So we start with the eagle and then go with the snake. And I'm not sure what this is. I think this is the leviathan. Yeah. And then we'll go for this. You could also use this route for um, if you don't even have armor for Ashley. It's pretty much a guaranteed route. But if you mess up on a route, you could freeze them by aiming with Ashley. I didn't know that my first playthrough. I just kept running. <laughs> so we're going to start at the middle. And pretty much do a counterclockwise rotation. We're just switching the lamps. Oh, why am I running already? Sorry, I'm already thinking ahead. So once you get this, make sure not to really mess up as you run. Like, the camera can mess you up while you're running, but pretty much make Ashley run towards you. Now since you don't have your lantern anymore and you can't freeze them, you just gotta keep on running. But even if they try to hurt you, you can't get hurt by them when you get hit. It's a good thing we're not trying to fight them. So once you go up here, same strat, even if without armor, try to go to the side and then go to the other side. So go to left and then right, or sort of center, then right. Just basically follow the lights on where to go. That's how I basically routed this, I just start following the lights. And 
And then, there you go. You hit that. And end of chapter. Now you could either save here, but my next save will um, be probably halfway during the bug area in the ballroom or after the whole ballroom area. stuff to loot if you want or another side quest I forgot there is um, we're gonna go I forgot to tell you guys we're gonna go here as Leon real quick just to get that one rat so if you're trying to grind more spinels the rats over here oh where's it going it changed its whole route it never went here before oh wow See, that's what I mean. There you go. Now it's going the way where it's normally going. Like, um, again, if you want to get the additional treasure, which is, I think, around here. And then also in, within this area, if you follow this pathway, um, you could you probably have time to go for it. But again, I'm not going to bother. We are almost hitting the three hour mark. And um, we're just going to pick up the pace now. Since we have the uh, Chicago typewriter already. Get that bug first up here. Second bug will spawn in. We'll get these guys. I do actually recommend getting body armor just in case. Or maybe later. Just... Play this area carefully because sort of take your time because like the bugs there's so many bugs in this area and they do so much damage and they easily could just hit you easily like it's just insane honestly look at that one first like don't be, don't be afraid to also back up if you if you need to back up. Just kind of looking around. Another one hovering over. Here, oh yeah, I did hear another one behind me. I have history with the uh, with the bugs. I never liked them, no G, and I still don't like them in here. We go way back. There is treasure here to get, along with a heal. So I'll get this. Oh, a free grenade. Um, damn. This is what I mean, where we should have uh, upgraded our case. So we could keep looting. We will be back to the merchant anyway after this. This is a... This door here... Is a shortcut to backtrack. So this is your way to... If you want to save right now, go for it. But I'm going to keep pushing through. Get that. Get these two. There's one sneaking up behind me. See, that's what I mean. They just come out of nowhere, get you. Just like that. So we're gonna move back a little bit, get more spacing. Also, yeah, always try to loot their bodies because they, they drop uh, sapphire, so that's free treasure right there. 
And then we get another beetle to to get. And I always forget to do this, but yes, go up the ladder and hit the first first switch for the gate. There is someone camping for you. I'm not gonna initiate the lever because oh, they could they they could always take cheap shots on you while you're on the lever. As soon as the cutscene is over, they just bam hit you right behind or something. So I'm just clearing out the area before they take away my health. I actually don't recommend body armor simply because um, they wipe your body armor easily. Get this. Mix it up. We are also gonna um, go back to the merchant after this and do our save since it has been a while. Look at that camper, man. Two, two of them are here. There is another red herb. But I don't think we have space, unfortunately, for it. Damn. Get this one. Wipe this one. There we go. Let's see if it dropped any good loot. No, it didn't. So we're gonna go back and uh, and save, and also upgrade our suitcase because I do wanna have space for certain items. More utility we have, better options um, we could have for random scenarios that we are unprepared for. Like, if you get a lot of people hoarding you, then flash, you know? Things things of that nature. So we're going to sell the beetle. A deal well struck. And then... Uh, we'll buy... A... Uh, case upgrade. That, that, and there you go. And, and then we'll go for... More durability. 50k to fully upgrade it. Yeah, might as well because we are gonna we are gonna be mainly using it. And since we already cleared that whole area up, we could do our save. Wow, we're already in chapter 10. So pretty much um, let's see. We did 6 saves already, so again, the next 9 saves could be for pretty much the island uh, and you know maybe if you, you're gonna be using a few saves uh, the other save is um, for before the Krauser fight and then maybe before minecart because I easily personally mess up on the minecart <laughs> I just missed Leon missed. Come on now. So this is the um This is the place where I despise the most simply because uh since we're on professional mode, these guys we're facing two Gyarados. One has armor and one doesn't. And it's gonna be a tough one. So pretty much I wanna bring him here. And we only have one bell to use also. So 
So since we dragged them, we're gonna we're gonna move towards the other side. Sniper is gonna really help in this fight. And then if you have a grenade, we're gonna use it. We're gonna use a heavy grenade. We are gonna we are gonna like save our oh shit. Let's see what he made me do. You see what he made me do? Let's see if we could get a shot in. Oh no, we didn't. So if he's chasing you, I do recommend just using a flash. He's gonna hear it. He basically hears every time you shoot. We could sneak up for his, uh, a stab as well. He's gonna be more careful. Oh my god, he just had a hit. There, he's dead. Just like that. Also, there's a free flash grenade on the table. Nice to know that. So yeah, we're gonna loot this area. Because uh, there's some heals to have. Let's go mow him down. As much loot. Ah, I don't want the bolts. Damn. Where is the, uh... I might as well just put this first. I'm trying to, like, normally they, they would spawn, uh... Herbs around. I guess not. But yeah, like, um, this segment is really good with the Stingray because of its fire rate and how you don't have to rely on, um, the, uh, what you call it? The, like, um, cocking back the rifle. So this is another area, um, when you're underground, there is a herb around here too. Let me see, oh not here yet. When you're underground, there is a, I do recommend to be very careful um, when you start seeing the bugs because once, once uh, you don't kill them immediately, they will be a problem as soon as you keep moving forward. And you trying to tank health and run away is not going to help at all. Oh, I have, I'm very stacked with uh, utility. I'm very happy. But this will be, also after we're done with this, this will be our first purchase for our RPG. So the first one will be here, I recommend. Oh, as soon as you see the green eyes on the floor, immediately just get ready and shoot. There will be someone here. There. I'm just spraying. It is hard to shoot with this weapon. I don't know if that thing actually... Oh, yeah, it did die. Okay. But yeah. Remember, there's always something spawning in there, and it would be hell to try to fight it if you're trying to look for it, because it just takes a lot of cheap shots on you. 
Yep, another one coming in. Also, go to the direction I'm going to because if you try to just loop around, you're just going to be fighting more. Be another one. There is a fish around here. Uh, but I'm not going to bother getting it. Oh, that's the fish. I thought that was like the, the bug. That's why I just shot immediately. And that's the last bug. And you'll get your first ever crown here. The reason why I was saving the, uh, the purple gems is simply just for this and the red gem as well. Because this is also, if you don't have enough money, this is this is your money for um, fighting or purchasing the RPG. And Leon got to do a whole Chris Redfield. Let's go. And then a yellow herb would be right here. Then we are going to stack it with the red and green herb. Who's getting pistol ammo? I think there's a treasure back here. Oh no, not not here. It's further up on this left side. Nope, this is in-game treasure. I did somewhat memorize a lot of the treasure spawns, so or almost everything because I had a I did platinum the game. So again, your opportunity to to sell. Also, 150k, is it really worth? See, that's why, like, to 1.60. I think 1.60 is somewhat of a necessity to run through the enemies, but I think 1.2 1. 1. is good, so 1.6 could, could wait. I would rather spend on powering up the knife against Krauser. And then we're going to buy the uh, our first RPG. Oh jeez. Okay, we have to discard certain items. Or sell them. Might as well just sell them. Submachine gun, handgun, shotgun shells. There you go. And bolts. And then we have... Uh... Yeah. And then we're going to combine... This with that, we're gonna keep the Magnum Mantle. We're gonna use that. We're trying to uh, use that against Salazar. Um, I'm so sad. The Strikers just, it's not the same anymore. Would have been good in new game plus runs, honestly. You can press X to skip dialogue or your interaction button. So, this guy is hell when you try to just fight him regularly. That's why I use the rocket launcher in this fight because it's like, it's just, I might as well just use up a lot of my money and and fight this thing, you know, then, then try to, <laughs> then try to like waste all my ammo and then worry about my ammo in literally the next boss fight, which, is, which are the t uh, two El Gigantes. But even before the two El Gigantes, I have to worry about retrieving the dynamite. Again, up to you since you have infinite uh, ammo, right? But the thing is, like, you'll be, s although you're not spending, um, although you're not like spending any sort of ammo, um, like, oh, hold up, make sure to always hit those prompts. The thing is, you, you'll be spending a lot of your, your health, and the point in professional mode for me is not to waste any health, because you're going to really need it. So equip it, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and bait it. So we're gonna go around here. It's gonna come out. We'll hit this immediately. And then shoot. There you go. Just like that. And the thing is, we get some money back by getting its treasure. And also, you do have an opportunity to loot around the area if you want. Also, it's just funny how the elevator immediately, like, goes to first floor as soon as, um, he's dead. But here, where you open up the power, behind it, there's uh, a treasure chest to get, and also a first aid spray with gunpowder. Gotta get that. And then, there are additional crates here to get, if you want. And I don't know how Leon whiffed his kick. I don't know why I was trying to loot the other ones. We're just going to sell the ammo. Because I was just going to see if they're going to give me more additional rifle ammo. And you just got through the Vertigo fight. You will also get another, like, um... You'll also get another RPG, uh, or I mean, another crown, so you could spend that on another RPG later on. I think that's at the island, though. But that crown is important because with the Krauser fight, I don't think it's worth to do um, in his final phase. Why help me though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no so we're gonna go ahead and sell. We do new? Okay, now he's able to give golden. Okay, gold tokens. And we are gonna sell this 30k. See, 30k. <laughs> and then sell the submachine gun, handgun, and we're keeping a magnum. Thank you. Still get yourself and I'm gonna save. Um, I'm gonna save. This will be my save. Uh, but again, I don't recommend if you're still playing. I recommend you save right before the minecart section. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna save here since I'm gonna end stream. We are on our seventh save, so eight more saves, and we are on our third hour. So we do have to sort of pick up the pace at this point. We are basically almost done um, with the castle section after after this. We're so. We're set. I'm just going to end stream, take a break, and we'll continue this tomorrow night. That's so lame sometimes of how shit just doesn't go your way. It's a little hard for me to put my faith in someone who used to work for Umbrella. So you heard, huh? Umbrella's done for. You don't need to worry about them anymore. You didn't answer my question. What are you after? I just want to feel good about myself. Make amends. Or something like that. Yeah, honestly, if you didn't skip the Vertigo fight with the RPG, you could honestly use RPG here, because this section is pretty annoying to do. Especially on professional mode, but... Personally, I just don't enjoy doing the Vertigo fight. What do you want to do? So we're gonna pick off this guy. Didn't die by the headshot. Pick off that guy. Oh, he didn't die. So we're just gonna be like, um, picking off a few folks. From here, since no one is really aggro on us just yet until we go down. Did I 
Oh, I did not get him. Try to... Man, it is hard. Whatever. We could just... So, the, pretty much the strat is going towards the stairs. And... Sort of rush to it. Until... Ooh. And we're pretty much going to hold it down from, from here. I am going to toss some certain grenades if it does get more hectic. But pretty much, let's not make the same mistake. We're going to mow down the chainsaw guy. We're pretty good at this angle because no one could come right up behind you. And uh, they can throw some stuff at you, but as long as you're holding it down and you're at a certain angle where I'm at, you should be good. Oh, we're shooting Luis. Cause there's there's literally hordes of people just coming through. They are mutating right in front of me. Okay, so now that that's over, there is a chainsaw sister right here. We're gonna get we're gonna get this up this guy first. Get him out of the way. We get this chainsaw sister. Oh, I missed the second shot. The second shot would be really important. I can't even see the head. But pretty much just several headshots to the chainsaw sister and you're good. Oh my god. I am just bad with the uh, hunting rifle. Oh my god. There you go. That was like probably four headshots. And you're set. Just like that. And we got a free emerald from the chainsaw guy. Also, there was treasure here that I got. Sapphire. Pretty much just gems to go for our future crown. There is, there is loot to uh, get down here, so don't press that lever if you do want to loot more. Oh, there's still people chasing us, huh? I will leave the door unlocked. Just in case. Oh, I, oh he missed! Thank God! I'm pretty much just gonna run towards the bridge. And I think we're pretty much. We're pretty much dead. There's like three more people that you're gonna bu be bumping into. Until I get this guy. One more guy right here. Oh, he's got a form. Remember, we got the dynamite. I always forget the dynamite. Also, little fun fact: if you do the RPG skip at the at the tunnel, you could still get the dynamite and sell it as treasure, and they do sell it for a good amount. Also, by the way, remember to get that extra treasure there. Yeah, and these are just free treasures that I'm routing for you guys because they're just right here. So might as well just get it just in case. And also, they're definitely these routes are going to be very useful if you ever do a... Oh, I got to run. For a, a, um, a whole new, fresh, new game run without using any sort of bonus weapons. 
because you'll be really relying on uh, upgrades for professional mode. You need a lot of damage on your weapons, honestly. Alright, so with the El Gigante, pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be going for um, our, our buddy here. And we're going to move around a little bit. That's unfortunate. Maybe if I... It is sort of hard to dodge him, I'm not going to lie. Personally for me. So we're going to drop. Actually, we don't need a drop. If this was, uh, if, if we did had a new game, yes, we'll drop him in the hatch. But we do have the, uh, our Chicago typewriter. So, we, I do want that additional treasure. And we just got cheap shotted. Oh shit, here we go again. So with our armored El Gigante, we could shoot the lower half of the face. But again, it is hard when it's aggroing at us just like this. Again, nothing you could do, uh, you know, when outrunning these guys. So, this is why um, conserving health is very important. And that's why I say getting that 8% charm is very useful. That 8% movement speed. We're going to lead him to Luis. Are you... Okay, it's things are not going according to plan. This game wants to screw me over. So we're going to shoot the dynamite off its back. I can't even see it. I'm not even the right angle. We're just gonna go for the additional treasure, might as well. Let me flash it. Yeah, so when the Lost Plog is out, just throw a flash to literally stun it. We could craft more. Having these recipes are really important. Interesting how in professional run it doesn't stay fully stagged. We'll do one. We'll do one more. <sighs> okay, one more. We're gonna snipe it. Honestly, if you have the opportunity, I I do I do actually recommend just dropping it to the hatch, so you won't take additional damage. But that was actually really annoying to do. They do act differently in professional mode. Because normally in hardcore and standard, um, it acts like just like the regular El Gigante. It'll be staggered for a long time. This one actually goes up a lot. After like a burst of bullets. So that's interesting to know. At least you know now in the, um, wow, we got a free spindle. And three green herbs, I think? <laughs> yeah, that's actually really good. So at least we know now, when, if we ever do a whole fresh new game with no bonus items... <laughs> we're uh, we're definitely not gonna. We're just gonna dump them. Of course they did. So, like I said from my last session, which was last stream, uh, if you were to continue on playing and you d you haven't saved yet, unlike me, I would just recommend saving right now if you're not really good at the minecart. But if you're very confident in minecart, be my guest. Continue on. I'm not going to save since we're on our seventh save. And, uh, and I did this plenty of times, but I may screw up. We'll see. I do not mind starting, starting all over again in this section. 
What now? Hope you like also, if people uh, who do rely on aim assist on console, I don't recommend having aim assist in this section. It's not as not as well. It's just better for you to have uh, your own settings. I missed more with aim assist in this minecart section compared to when I had no aim assist. Free barrels here to use. I just there are free barrels later on, which is this one. But I just decided to shoot them early. Oh, better reload. That would have been bad. Wait, we're cruising. Also, if you don't want to deal with the cart always leaning, just follow. Use your left stick or your keys to follow the tracks, basically. So your cart won't lean. I'll, I'll show, to show it later once we go to the second one. And there is a treasure to, to get here, so... We gotta clear out probably like three enemies. I had no idea that they put a typewriter here. Huh, interesting. I think they do also do that for hardcore. Okay, he just killed his boy. Oh, he did not, actually. Thought he did. Oh, we're gonna go back inside. Pretty much loot up, and then here at the corner of the building, at the balcony, get another treasure. And we move on. So as you see, I'm making Leon lean as he's following the trail. If the trail goes right, you go right. You lean right. Also, there were free barrels, but I decided not to use it. <laughs> These guys are pretty hard to shoot. Especially when you deal with gloom, because they are pretty far away. Always reload when you have the chance, when there is a little break. See? Oh, that was close. There is something to shoot. Like, it looks like a red barrel, but could never take that shot. Wait, hold up. Give me a second.
Alright, let's continue. When he's about to swing, that's when you shoot. Don't need to spam bullets on the chainsaw guy. Okay, good. And there you go, you're done. We do still have like one more to shoot, which is a, uh, which is that. And there you go, I did a whole no damage minecart of professional mode. Who would have known? I typically, I'm not a fan of these sort of gimmicky segments of the game where you're not in control as much. So that goes for the Delago, the, you know, the minecart, so on and so forth. Alright, so we're at the bug section. We're not going to do a save. We're going to do a save right before we hit the elevator, but since uh, there are side quests to do, free ones to do, might as well just do it right now. There is the first hive to shoot. Just be careful. Keep an eye out on, on these guys. And then the the sec oh second one right here third one right in front of our faces so it's easy to get the first three already without without just uh, traversing through this whole entire area sorry I have to pause again. Also, there is a guy right there to get. Guy right here. Oh, they're pulling up on us. And then I think there is another one. Yep, right here. Hard to tell. They're really good at camouflaging. Also, there will be a yellow herb uh, in this section. Also, again, if you do have the time, I know I just didn't pick up that loot, but always loot the bugs because, again, they could drop sapphires, especially if you're low on gems. Then the last one is just right up here. There you go. We just did easy side quest. Every time you see a barrel, just shoot it right away. Well, some. Ooh. I just ran into that like an idiot. But typically, um, I sort of kind of ran more aggressively. But basically, sort of be behind his rock and shoot every bug you see. I was sort of the kind of pushing it more. So here there are a few bugs in the tunnel and it is easy to handle them and see them. First one you could just take out immediately. Especially if you have a sniper or shotgun, they do die in one shot. Or you could just use a pistol. Also you see the red barrel, just shoot it. Dude pops out. Run here. Got Velvet Blues. Nice. Then in this dark tunnel, there is free treasure to get. A large gold bar. 
We'll take it. And we could continue. So pretty much, you don't want to use this red barrel yet. You want to drag him out. And then shoot it. Hopefully I did get the other one. I don't know where the other one went. First one here, right in front of you. I think there's a, still a few more. Oh, I guess we got everyone. Okay. Oh, there is. Yeah, there, there was someone. I think Luis got it, though. So, we're going to go ahead, sell. Uh, and we're going to... We're going to upgrade our knife. Fully max it out. And I do recommend you potentially just... Get body armor for this fight. Also, by the way, don't... Like, use, uh, also get the, uh, recipes if you do have the money. I will probably get this recipe later on. But, uh, yeah, we'll get the body armor. It's 18k, more expensive in, uh, professional mode. Uh, typically it would be, like, 10k. But, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get the body armor. And we're gonna, also, we're gonna deal with this as well. We have a lot of sapphire to use and sell. Body armor is very useful against Krauser, especially if you're not really good at parrying uh, in this boss fight. But pretty much the game plan uh, in this fight is pretty much you just want to be much more aggressive with this guy. Because if you're not, uh, he will just bully you. Keep picking on you. Also, it's purely a knife battle. You can't use weapons at all. But you could heal during the fight. So, again, I hope you do have uh, some heals conserved. Are you being controlled by that cult? This is nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. So, we're mashing X literally when we see the animation so that we don't take as much damage. I'll explain that. Oh, oh, I didn't let me do the. Okay. So when he does that, oh. So I am gonna pick up that red herb. We do want to lead him to a wall so he won't like cheese us or do any sort of weird grapples. It is good when you do corner him, though. See, when he goes behind us, he's gonna literally do a whole charge attack, a grapple attack. So just run, run towards the, towards the shield. There you go. See? And the boss fight's done just like that. But pretty much, when he does uh, certain grapple moves to you where, where they do make you uh, mash the interaction button, I do highly recommend you mash as soon as you see that cutscene because uh, it will count um, and you'll be able to break free way earlier than usual before the prompt shows up. I sort of learned that throughout my uh, second playthrough of Hardcore when doing my S Plus run. Huh, they didn't drop the uh, green herb around here? They only drop a red herb, huh? Oh, oh, there's a green herb. Yeah, remember to pick up the free heals here. There would be a another herb around here. Two green herbs and one red herb, but I guess... I guess on professional, or maybe I don't know. Leon, there's only time to say this. 
So, we are almost done with the island section of the game, but we still have to face Salazar and the clock tower. So what we're going to do is backtrack. Since we have the key, it is very important to have the cubic device. Um, we are going to get the golden egg uh, at the throne room. And we'll finish Salazar off with either the Chicago sweeper or the hand cannon that you could easily get in mercenaries mode. Also, you get another small key here, but it wouldn't be as useful. So when we backtrack to this ballroom, as soon as we have the golden egg, uh, there will be more bugs spawning in that are just waiting to ambush you. So we gotta be careful with that. Also, uh, I might craft a flash so I could just run and not deal with these guys, even though I do have infinite ammo. And then we ki we did kill all the spiders, I think. Or I guess not everyone. Could always throw another one later. There is expanded uh, DLC treasure here if you do have it, which is right there, but I'm not picking that up. Since we're all we're all doing no DLC items for this run. Also, if you do have an extra egg, uh, just throw out Salzar's painting, which I'm about to show. Now, if this was a new game. Without the uh, bonus weapons, I would honestly use the two golden eggs. But yeah, this is where you throw the egg at Salazar. The chickens do take some time to lay the eggs. I don't know how, how I would mechanically force them to lay eggs immediately, but I'm not going to sit around and wait. It's unfortunate I can't throw an egg at him. We are keeping the golden egg for the boss fight. There's gonna be one right here. Just waiting. Then there's gonna be either. Okay, not here. This will be. Yep, right here. Cause they could easily grab you, and again, they take a lot of your health. So that's why. I'm showing where they're spawning in, so you could be careful and not get damaged. Pretty much professional mode, you just don't want to be damaged at all. Also, let's do sell, like, my, my ammo. You're going to be selling a lot of ammo in this playthrough, and again, it's why I said the, um... Why, pretty much, the... The charm that gives you... Pretty much a whole gives more value on selling ammo is so important to have because you just earn easy money like that. There's the clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. So there is, I think, four treasure or three to get in this whole segment. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in this uh, hellhole tower. Oh, there is a typewriter. So hardcore professional. Typewriter is here. I just got confused with uh, some of the placements for the typewriters because uh, 
been playing all the game modes. So we're going our left immediately, and we will get a gold bar, I think. We're gonna just shred through the enemies as we get up there. We could sort of take our time because you don't want to be overwhelmed, especially once they have the uh, the ball the ball rolling down. Oh, we got a free ruby. So there is a little skip, shoot the statue, head will explode so you don't have to deal with that stupid flamethrower. That ruins your movement and also treasure here at the side. Let's shoot this person here before we get up the ladder. Or at least stun him. I am going to just spray across because the projectile people are very annoying. They could just always get you immediately. And get these guys. There's going to be someone popping up right behind you. Yeah, I knew it. I thought I would kill those guys immediately. Just using the green herb. So ball is uh, coming in now, and we're just going to wait. Just be a little bit patient here. You really know how to make someone feel welcome. Fortunately, you're supposed to fight these guys. Kind of uh, fight yourself in here. I'm trying to shoot the guy with the crossbow. We're going to run there quickly. Stay at the side. It's too bad you can't get an angle on um, the guy controlling the uh, lever. And then we're going to immediately roll down the uh, ball so we can get the other M NPCs chasing us. I'll do two just in case. There you go. I think they're, they're gone. So on our... On our side, there is a treasure to get. And then when you go down, another treasure right here. And we're going to go up again. We're going to use this lever because one of the red enemies get could get run over right off spawn. So if you do this quickly enough, jump down the ladder. Pull the lever. The red guy will get run over. There you go. Just to ease your problem. So we're going to focus at this red barrel first. But we're going to focus on the also the, the crossbow person. Make sure not to hit the red barrel. Yet. Two people will come in. I think one of them will survive though. But it's okay. You'll end up shooting them here. Shoot the red barrel once you see the uh, hooded enemy uh, come through. And keep an eye out on your left. So once she shows up, it is appropriate to shoot the red barrel. Projectile user. I did shoot the red barrel kind of late. And we're going to focus here at the middle. Because the red guy is here. We don't want this guy. He's going to cause so many problems. And he's dead. Up here you could maybe get a cheap shot on this guy. He's bound to jump down on you. So I am just spraying. Also people will be jumping from potentially behind you. could climb here as well pretty much you're looking 
you're looking here and at this side. Someone just fell behind me? I don't know what just happened. And pretty much that's how you get through the clock tower without taking as much damage and also DLC treasure. Do get these guys because there will be a problem when you're trying to cross. So we're just going to walk through the wooden planks because if you do run, you're just going to fall. And again for this strat, I'm just going to use the hand cannon just to get through the fight quicker. But again, it is just possible to use the Chicago Sweeper against Salazar, whether you use a golden egg or not, or... Again, there's different ways to approach uh, this fight. You Or let's say if you do have enough money, you could even use RPG if you want. But I'm saving the uh, other two RPGs for Salazar and, um, and Krauser. Also, by the way, pretty much go towards the merchant's room to collect all the loot and the yellow herb. And that's why we didn't use the red, uh, red and green herb yet. Welcome. What can I so we're gonna go sell. A deal. We'll put in, put in this. Just mix it up. And and red. Might want to take care of. And welcome. I don't want to like. Use use the chalice of atonement yet. Thank you. And what we're gonna do Come back. is we're gonna since we are using bonus weapons in this playthrough, uh, it's easy to get the hand cannon. It's just basically doing getting S plus for each character, or not S plus, just S rank for each character. I think or three characters. Uh, so again, easy to. Easy to obtain uh, in this game. And pretty much we're gonna use this to deplete uh, Salazar's health whenever, uh, once he gets stunned. Because throwing the golden egg will stun him and 70% of his health will be taken away with the golden egg. Well, this is also sort of an experiment. Because I have never tried this method. Normally I just use a Chicago sweeper. Uh, but yeah. We're just going to see. Oh, normally I would say uh, save before this fight, but I didn't do that. So if I miss the golden, golden egg, oh well. Okay. Okay, that didn't deplete his health. You pretty much want to run now. Watch your language, my lord. What would others think of you? This means death. It's long, miserable death. We're just going to keep adding pressure to Salazar. He should die eventually, though. I mean, using a sniper as well will, will help a lot. Once he's staggered. Pretty much in this fight, you want to keep moving so you won't get hit easily with his tackles or his one-shots or his projectiles. Also, body armor does help against his projectiles. Ooh. 
Ooh. You see how I was able to tank that? With the body armor? With his, against his projectile? Body armor is actually very useful in this boss fight. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad. He does, again, I think in professional you do deal with uh, much more no time to lose. health in, uh, with these bosses. So again, if you're doing hardcore or maybe even standard, he's going to die way quicker. Also, we could put this away and we could also sell it. Krauser. Where do you think you're taking her? So typewriter here, but then we're gonna see one of our guys. So we're just going to run. We're not even going to bother looting or trying to kill him. And if anything, if you do want to be safer, you could just throw a grenade. There is a guy right here. And whenever there's a blue lantern, they can't follow you uh, in here. They'll freeze. So Perfect. it is safe to loot up if you want, or at least loot up this box. Just that one box. And on to the island. There are multiple ways to start out chapter 13. It is very useful if you do have the biosensor scope, but that's only like a new game plus thing. Um, but pretty much it is sort of hard to like see them. And, and also like take shots. So we're going to go for this guy first. Right. And we missed. I don't know if we got that guy. So we're gonna go for this guy. And he's gonna mutate. I can't see him anymore because of... Someone just mutated, that's why Leon said that. But over here is I don't see anyone actually. Yeah. Unless that's a guy here. But yeah, it is really hard to take some shots. Um, you could take down also the spotlight so you won't get spotted and be alerted. And if you do get caught, I think it's completely fine. Just know where to um, hold down an area. It is, I mean, you have infinite ammo. It would be a different scenario if you do get caught. Uh, if you don't have the Chicago typewriter. I don't know if he was going to mutate, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. Doing the Lost Plagas guy. Okay. Move up a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is go on here. And we could try to pick him off.
There is still one more around. I just don't know where. Yup. Dang it, I didn't know. That was, that, was, that was weird that he was already alerted or knew where I was at. And he didn't even, uh... He didn't even try to, like, uh... The, the alert didn't even startle yet. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for him here at the ladder. We could cheese him at this ladder. This is the only way they could go up, so... Ooh, a few more of them here. And that's about it. Red herb here. Also, before you head out, actually, let's uh, get free treasure right here. Again, might as well pick up all these sort of treasure so that you're able to loot up more. Also, doesn't matter if the light is flashing on you. Because if you do get caught while you while you haven't been alerted, um, you will be uh, everyone will start coming at you if the light starts pointing at you. But since we got everyone, we're we're good. I would approach this way differently um, again if and played it a bit slower if this was a completely whole new game with no bonus weapons. I do recommend stealthing here. <laughs> So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother trying to kill these guys. You could just keep on running. And they're not gonna chase you once you go up this ladder. Just make sure to run towards this guy. So they won't completely aggro you. And also you could take in that stab. A reload, do more stealth here. And we're gonna take this guy out immediately. And there's another guy here. And we could just take him out like that. So th those are everybody in this building. And in, from inside here, you could take out the rocket launcher guy. So once you do that, there is a yellow herb to loot here. Just make sure you'll be legit, like, alerting everyone once you explode this. Just prepare to fight once you come out. And now we could just try to make a run for it if it, if it is possible. And we're going to do all... Oh, we can't actually do it. Dang. We could just do blue, if anything. We'll find maybe another more rubies later. We'll see. Oops, where am I going? I think they're coming, yeah. So shoot that. So you can have an easier time against these, uh, oh my god, he just threw that, I can't believe that. So you can have an easier time against the, the metal people. Also, basically guys would mask in the island, you don't want to like, uh, and, yep, shout out to Resident Evil with amazing prompts, but you don't want to be shooting their heads because immediately you're going to kick in their Las Plagas mutation. 
So always go for legs or like their their body to do the damage. Oh, there's a guy. Are you kidding me? He did do that to get iframes. <laughs> and they're not going to chase you, so... You're good. So here, this is where the crown is. And we're going to immediately go for the rocket launcher guy. And then crossbow. That's the guy who can mutate if you do a headshot. And him too. See? He's gonna mutate now since probably hit the head. Yep. That's a weird sound effect when it's hitting the fence. Never heard that before. Doesn't look like I so once you pretty much unlock, or I mean, wipe out everyone, another free crown to get. That's another 100k and then DLC right here. If you do want the extra money. And then we are going to set this up. Dang, it's too bad I don't have a... I don't have green on me. I think we'll have green soon. We will be encountering um, another... Uh, like, cow. Little... Cow boss thing. Whatever you call them. The cow enemy. Pretty velvet blue in here. And we're just gonna go straight for the stairs. Immediately crouch. Go under. Well, typically, he doesn't look this way. Maybe you, you should slow it down a bit so he won't follow or look at you where you're coming from. And just make him keep walking. And then take him out. We're just going to loot up the place. Shoot this, or you could unarm it, and we're gonna keep going. Over here, you'll find a plus plagas guy and the cow enemy with the sledgehammer. He's just like taking up all the bullets. Wonder what he dropped. Oh, he just dropped the velvet blue. Dang. We might be screwed. Or maybe let's see. Or we could do something like this. Where um No, that just goes to 91k. Damn. But it is close to uh 100k. Herb. Now you could stealth to go in here, but again, since we have the Chicago Sweeper, what's stealth? Could just wipe these guys easily. Again, try not to shoot the head though against uh, those guys with the helmet. Mutate. We're going here for additional loot. And just handgun ammo. Normally a velvet blue could also spawn in that little case. And 
then another treasure would be here. She make it around here, basically by the freezer or the fridge guy or freezer guy. Could run past by him, and we could do some cells. Let's see if he has uh, any green gems. Nope, no green gems here. That is completely fine. We could just wait. We don't. We already have a hundred k, so we're we're kind of set, honestly. And we're gonna sell. So we got two hundred k. Pretty much. Well, like I said again, you're you're set for the whole game now. If you don't bother on spending, could get two rocket launchers, or maybe we probably need more. Um, so, again, you're going to find way more treasure later on. Because that's what's important, is skipping the Krauser. The Krauser fight, and the uh, Saddler fight. So as soon as the power goes on, oh yeah, I forgot to do this. As soon as the power, you turn on the power here. You want to go towards this uh, garage door, open it up, so you have more room to run around, and you can open this for more loot. And then if you go in here, there is treasure to get. Now, uh, once we get the key, we're going to run straight into here for uh, additional treasure. Also, I'm going to get my notes out. Um, shout out to the boy Neil for giving me the notes. So pretty much for this one is three two two, meaning you turn this three times. So one two three, and then one two, and then one two, and you're set. Also, so the regenerator, the regenerator is gonna have a lot of health. You know, honestly, having a shotgun is very useful in this fight so you could stagger it immediately but since you got the Chicago typewriter you can mow it down oh and all the We're gonna go in here for the gold. It's gonna be annoying trying to get rid of this guy because they do have a lot of health. So we have to go back to the power because we have to go towards the freezer room. Oh man, I forgot to get the first aid spray in there. It's okay. Uh, and we got a. Oh god! Change the power so we could access the freezer room. And there it's dead. Okay, nice. We could get that uh, first aid spray. Oh wait, I forgot. I freaking... <sighs> I turned off the power, that's why. So let's, uh, switch. let's switch the power real quick. I know I'm kind of wasting time, but it is important to get these... Uh, these uh these heels sorry my intrusive thoughts were about to say something else what's the time right now okay we're on we're on the four hour mark so that's why we do have to again pick up the pace and finish this part and we're gonna shoot this first we'll keep firing it
Man. And we'll just make... It, it does take time, so we're, we're, we might as well just do it right now. Oh, why is Leon looking that way? That was so weird. It's hard to get the front because it's on the ground. I just I just heard the card it's done okay so here um let me see the code again so this one is three one three three one two three and one and one two three one two three so the reason why we're opening this because pretty much this is free money. We're going to sell the uh, MP5. We're not even going to bother using it. I personally don't like using SMGs in this game. And we're going to get back our card. There is something to get over here as well. Which in the OG was the biosensor, but then they debate you with whatever item they put in there. And we're going to make our way to the final room. And there's going to be some people inside. Oh. Keep moving, moving. And we could just use the stairs for uh, much more cover. Get them on the high ground. There is stuff to loot. Oh wow, a yellow herb. I actually didn't know there was a yellow herb uh, roaming around here. So that's actually a W. Remember, there are ammo or loot to get in these glass here. Also, be careful on shooting where you're shooting at because you don't want to, like, waste more time trying to fight every single one, uh, one of these regenerators. See, throwing a grenade is not going to actually help you in, in this scenario. So we're going to get the biosensor scope. Let's see. And we're gonna, and we're no longer gonna use this. Honestly, I might switch to the um, to the stingray. Uh, to the stingray now, because I am not. There's a segment with Ashley where I'm just not good at shooting with the hunting rifle since there's so much weapon sway. This is our lucky one. We're gonna kind of go back a little bit. Man, this one is aggressive. It's it's playing tag with you. I didn't. I was scared to do a collateral. And we're not trying to get hurt by it either. They do big damage. So always keep your distance. Now people are going to rush 
uh, or come in here, you might as well just let them in where you're at. And as long as the dynamite guy doesn't interfere. Oh man, I actually shot the regenerator. It is almost done though. Oh, yeah, had a man, yeah, the regenerators, man, they they run crazy in this game. But again, there's no need to uh, fight, and we're just gonna keep running now. We're, we might have to throw a flash. Just to get away. Flash grenade. And he would have helped. I threw a flash since I know I could craft another one. So there you go. Done with the regenerator segment. I was kind of worried about that part. Treasure in the room right here. There you go. Free crystal ore. Oop. Oh yeah, we gotta get Ashley up. You got it. Duh. Oh, she's cocky now. From the other side. All that armor. I'm pretty much a master of Halaki. So this is uh, expanded DLC right there. For those who want the extra treasure. I have something I welcome. Got some rare so we're gonna sell this. <laughs> and then we're gonna sell the MP5. And then we're gonna sell our our sniper <laughs> rifle because I'm gonna use the stingray. Stingray now. And then we are going to tune up our... There you go. And we're set. And it is good to upgrade the ammo capacity. And... Honestly, we should... Check out... Just... You know, just for the hell of this playthrough, just check out, like, what can we get. I always wonder if you could get lucky in the middle of the playthrough. I know we're, like, wasting more time, but... Again, it just shows... Oh, wait, let's see. They give us the 8% movement speed? That would be amazing. Oh, nope. There... It's not. Alright, what's gonna be the third one, though? They still give me a silver! I gave all gold! Wow! What? Unlucky in this playthrough. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> they're, they're really, uh, they're really testing me right now. So, we're gonna be saving our heavy grenades, and again, I hopefully you guys are ready. Um probably got the recipe for it so you could potentially craft it out maybe at least one but i think two this is the one i recommend also treasure up there um and the thing is with the uh with hold up sorry there is a treasure over here all right clear them out I forgot what I was about to say. I, I lost my train of thought. Keep going. 
There are medallions. There are easy medallions to uh, to get around this whole area. Wait, we're gonna skip that because it's not really necessary. We're gonna throw a grenade. Really? Then if you angle yourself here, there's treasure up right up here. Man, unfortunate. I don't think we could get another um, a green gem. I should have uh, saved it. I don't think at this rate we're gonna. Hopefully, we could get it. So we're gonna ask Ashley to order to uh, pull down the lever. Immediately go this way. He's gonna run for her. Run through. Throw a grenade. Ashley's good since she has armor. That's so weird. I don't even know what the hell was happening. Thanks. Anytime. Be more people around here. Oh, actually, we're gonna get an emerald here. It is a it is a drop once we hit the sewers. grenade you throw a grenade because there's a shield guy there is a save here because we're gonna be meeting our first iron maiden so smells pretty bad okay also at the left side there's gonna be an emerald so we're going to use that now, and we could get our 100,000 now. And there you go. We go at the same time, yeah. Also, this is still tricky for me. I might mess up my first try. Okay. We go at the same time. Oh, that was so close. Oh my god. Uh, loot a little bit. See, this is why I like the Stingray because they're basically a Regenerator Slayer. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> I thought I would kill him, honestly. There, now he's dead. And they do shoot out spikes once they die, so get to cover. Spread out. Now, I do recommend if you do mess up. Well, I mean, you shouldn't really mess up if you have the Chicago typewriter and the... Uh, Oh god. And the um Ashley. Sniper. And Ashley's armor. But I mean if you do, feel free to go back and save after finding the Iron Maiden or after or before finding the uh Iron Maiden. Get this for me. There is additional treasure to get as well here. Also, with the Stingray, why it's sort of a good trade to do for the island is simply because the fire rate's good. You don't have to uh, cock back the rifle compared to the bolt action. 
and its fire rate is good and pretty much it does nearly the same damage if you're hitting vulnerable areas uh, against certain enemies so that's why I decided to do that little trade also less less weapon sway but the thing about the stingray also expanded DLC treasure the thing about the the stingray is that it does not do well on body shots so headshotting is a necessity with this weapon so hopefully you're a good shot with it compared to the hunting rifle so we're not gonna move um, we're not gonna move and strafe around this area because that's where uh, the regenerator will spawn so we'll take care of these guys first Oh, I missed. There you go. Oh, I missed. Okay. So, and see, that's what I mean. You could easily mess up. It's hard to do. I'm just trying to shoot him first. There you go. So once that's done, don't mess up like me. There are regenerators right here. Or one regenerator, I mean. Oh, oh the guy already came in. You could honestly fight. Ashley will be fine. Oh, God. And this is why the armor is such a necessity. Because he can't carry Ashley. And there you go. So, uh, I sort of forgot. It's been a while. But basically, after... You want to hit all your shots as fast as you can against that regener regenerator. And then uh, you pretty much hit for the guy. Um, but since I was slower and I missed some of my shots, the process, uh, this whole process was definitely much slower than usual. But that's why Ashley's armor is so important in this segment, so you don't have to worry about making every single shot count. Or else you would have had to potentially reload the save. Um, so, for this code, it's 2102. All right, so one, two, one, zero. So which is, we're not moving it in two. And there you go. And then there'll be, oop, there'll be spiders spawning in. And we're going to go sell more money. There you go. If you haven't bought the um, heavy grenade recipe, you should buy it now because it's really important for this segment. Because if you don't do it, I don't know what else to tell you. This whole section is hell. Oops, we forgot to get Ashley. But there is a... Uh, there is a flash over here. Oh man. There's a flash around here. Yep. There you go. It's a free flash, so just have it. So we're gonna use the um heavy grenade as soon as we get into this. Once Ashley is on the crane, throw two heavy grenades and then just wait for Ashley to hit the boulder. I'm gonna shoot that. We shot that um 
that red barrel behind us because there was a guy with dynamite and I did not want to get... Uh, there's a guy with crossbow which I was about to freaking shoot. I was going to say because I didn't want to get hurt by it. And there's the, the dynamite just hit me still. <laughs> this playthrough is a mess. I'm so sorry. We're pretty much waiting. Good job, Ashley. Did you see me? That was <laughs> awesome. I think you might have found your calling. You know, I I was thinking. We work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the U.S. from any and all threats. Is that right? Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> so, in this section we're about to fight Krauser. But we're gonna encounter Sadler for the first time. Also, there is a chest to get for your. Or not chest, it's actually a uh, ore, I think, to get for your expanded DLC treasure. But we're just gonna go through the cutscene and then we'll loot more here. Also, yellow herb. We pretty much are almost maxed um, with the uh, yellow herbs uh, in this game, or our health, so we're literally on track, and there's still more yellow herbs uh, ahead, especially in the Krauser fight. So typically, if you didn't have the Chicago typewriter, I would recommend going the other path and uh, but I would just do this first. So that's what we're doing and getting this free treasure in the tent. Again, free money. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that, but hey, that helps still. Surprised it didn't explode the uh, box. So you get a static drop of a first aid spray and gunpowder here. And then we're gonna go for a case upgrade. We're gonna sell also. Um, and then we're gonna go for a what do you call it? We're gonna go for a case upgrade and then buy RPG. We got so much money. And then we're gonna. Uh, Get body armor. And we're keeping our money for the next the next run. So again, optional to do a save here. I'm just gonna save for the hell of the video. So we're on our night save and and we got an hour. Basically we got an hour left, so pretty much we gotta pick up the pace. Oh. And spray immediately. He just exploded himself. I'm dead. This guy is cheating. He's like Tekken sidestepping on me. So behind you, there'll be a, a beetle. More treasure to sell. Green herb.
and you pretty much uh, throughout the finals as you head towards the final stage you're just gonna go basically through all his like booby traps and you wanna to uh, counter all that once you reach here prepare for him to pop out and then shoot this before you head out here, hit that bear trap. Get ready to shoot him. And you'll be safe on shooting this. And then there's going to be drones shooting you. And then we're going to shoot this drone down here in the hallway. Okay. And you should be good here. Just back up a little bit. There you go. I'm no stranger to covert tactics. That a drone over okay. here. Shit. Don't rush in yet. I love a good and now you can rush in. Keep going. Alive, huh? You got lucky. Hit the red herb. Now you could try to contest him uh, once we head to the sniping area. It's the one of the most annoying areas where you could get easily damaged, but because it's it's the only way for him to like go away. I'd be dead if I kept listening to people like you. Careful the bear trap. So this is why body armor is so important. Because uh, it could tank his uh, grenade, grenade hits. There's a bear trap right here, so be careful. He still managed to get me though. Could either snipe him or just shoot. Then he's gonna throw grenades back up. Then shoot the uh, laser. So we're in the second to last stage. Ain't over yet. And just prepare to get a cover and shoot. Then every time he flashes, there's gonna be a, a prompt to evade. So. Try to press your evade button or your crouch button, whatever platform you're on. And once he goes up, we're on the next stage. Now this is the unfair one. You're pretty much forced to parry. It's hard to stop him immediately. Yeah, I couldn't. I try to parry. It's just hard to it's just hard to stop that unless you have like a RPG or something. But on your right, there's another yellow herb. But the good thing about that is everything is just prompts. Just avoid them. And there you go. You have. Uh, Almost past this boss fight. You could prep your rocket launcher right now and just have it equipped, but we're not going to be shooting him immediately. We're going to climb up the ladder. I knew it. Maybe it's not ideal to go up this ladder, but we were able to tank. And there you go. That was somewhat risky because he almost dodged that. And we get a free fighting knife. And we hit... Wow, we're almost about to hit five hours already? Alright, I guess we gotta pick up the pace. We really gotta pick up the pace. So, I guess I sort of have to lock in on, on this one. We sort of have to brute force our way. I might have to just... Uh, do commentary for here all right so i had to reload my save basically all the way before the krauser fight because i screwed up my run so 
what you're seeing now is a reloaded save uh, of me basically retrying this segment. I originally um, did this uh, without the heavy grenade, but I thought it would just mess up the video. So I was like, you know what? Let me backtrack. Let me buy the heavy, the heavy grenade recipe because that was the recipe that I forgot to get in this playthrough. And it affected me when I wasn't able to show or, or do the skip, uh, which you will see later on, because you'll be you would need to craft or have uh, some heavy grenades on you, at least two. But anyway, uh, as we go here at the chopper gun mic segment, we're gonna hide behind there. Um, I don't recommend <laughs> I don't recommend being at that certain spot. You want to be all the way at the left side um, of this area behind that cover I don't know how I just got damaged from that honestly and again the cover uh, in this segment is not as reliable so again um, you saw how I was originally hiding in the corner um, at that left side hide there as as soon as uh, Mike comes in and pretty much we're just gonna wipe out everybody and also get that treasure as well um, in this whole segment again uh, I was sort of picking up the pace because uh, we were almost hitting the five hour mark. So, and I had no idea we were actually taking that long. So, pretty much, I'm trying to like just pick up the speed and, and eliminate as um, eliminate everyone fast as, as possible because Mike isn't, uh, he's not doing his job. So, I'm doing his job for him. So, uh, I'll be back. Uh, this whole little segment is pretty self explanatory until. Uh, we get to the skip I'm about to show. All right, come on, Mike. We got to we got to hurry this up. We're just going to also craft our heavy grenade. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. Well, not necessarily. You have to be really careful when you start throwing these heavy grenades. You need at least two for this skip. And um, also, there is a little thing that I highly advise you to do that I didn't really do. Because again, I thought I wasn't really going to make it on time. But actually, you would have plenty of time. So with this big turret, it will be stopping Mike. So th throw two heavy grenades right on it. And that should clear it out. And then above this uh, balcony, there's going to be uh, people coming out. Also, there will be an RPG person there. As you see, he was trying to shoot me with a launcher. You want to just uh, keep pressuring them until Mike, again, takes them out. I do highly recommend to stay on that bridge I'm on currently. Uh, because um, you want Mike to sort of clear out uh, more of these uh, mobs before they... Uh, before you spawn more of them because if you approach the stairs Mike is just basically gonna dip you're gonna immediately go into the next cutscene and onto the next area which is gonna spawn in what much more people here I was definitely playing in a, such a very a very sloppy fight and also all of us for some reason Mike kind of uh, skipped me like he he was speed running as well and he, even though I didn't really approach the stairs, because the cutscene would never kick in um, after, um, until you reach the stairs, uh, Mike just kind of blew up the uh, the next area. So a lot of these mobs are kind of after me now. So uh, I'm holding it down at the tunnel because I don't think a lot of people will be coming from behind you. So I'm holding it down a certain area and, and shooting it. But unfortunately, uh, there is a turret. And also, by the way, highly recommend 
body armor for this whole entire segment I think it's worth to get since uh, you're going to be dealing with a lot of people especially with uh, them having much proje uh, projectile uh, attacks on you so you want to just take them out immediately and pretty much this is what I'm I'm desperately trying to stop the turret and trying to <laughs> Trying to stop them in a fast way, and I'm actually crossing over the bullets. Wow! And <laughs> again, I'm sort of. Uh, I highly recommend you guys to sort of take your time compared to me, because again, at this moment, I was sort of panicking, and I know this is such a bad way to showcase how to do this guide. Um, but if you take your time in each area, but don't obviously don't take too long, uh, you will succeed and, and go through. As you see. Um, the area is now clearing up and I'm just taking out everyone one by one and, and again uh, the more you rush it the more you're just gonna get attacked so that's pretty much what I was I was just trying to take your breather in and actually um, take these uh, areas step by step uh, rather than completely rush it uh, I am obviously like trying to fight my way through but at the same time I'm trying to like get some kill confirms because uh, you never know if these guys will pop out. We're also as soon as you go into the area, you could shoot from the entrance and stop the people with the turret. Uh, you want to stop them immediately because they will be a problem if you don't bother trying to get them. So as soon as we clear out this area, I'm gonna push for the ladder on my left. It doesn't matter actually wh which way you go. I just prefer going left. Um, and I'm going to go for the left switch because you have to uh, pull down the lever to open the door. There's two levers uh, in this whole area. Also, I realized, like, oh, damn, I guess uh, p people kind of ran up to the turret. So I'm applying pressure on, on the turret, or at least people by the turret first. Luckily, again, this is why we have heals, because in situations like, like this, um, it's so good to have these stacked heals on you because um, moments like this where you really need to push and, and tank damage uh, your he your your heals I can't even talk sorry your heals will be there for you so again sort of uh, clearing out the area r before I pull the lever so no one could cheap shot me from behind and this is I'm gonna go for the first one and then I'm immediately because enemies will completely spawn in I'll immediately go to uh, you know across or go to the other side and take the ladder again maybe you should take your time compared to how I was doing it where I was just completely just tanking damage and and holding it off uh, you could honestly hold it off within this room or in the other room which is so somewhat in the corner of the map which is on the other side uh, basically oh. the rooms that have the ladders because you could hold down where the ladders are and um, it's it's easier to actually to hold it off um, at the other room with the ladder because uh, they won't really be rushing you from both both sides. So here again, as you see, I'm just holding it down and I'm kind of panicking and and <laughs> trying to hold it off. But this is why the Chicago sweeper is very important for this run because you it could help you just mow down a lot of enemies. I hate actually like just trying to loot and then all of a sudden you go on the turret. Oh my so God. once the lever is pulled down on the right oh side, we're just going to dip immediately. And I hope you have an extra flash or you craft a flash grenade because you're going to need it uh, for for this part. And you'll need a flash uh, for basically the bug section where you have to fight off the bugs oh, right after it. they took out Mike. RIP to the boy Mike. As you see, I keep pausing because I'm sort of worrying if I'm going to make it on time or not. So normally in th within this area, I loot the treasure because underground you get a royal staff, which gives you good money. And I highly recommend to get it because it's not really going to affect your run. But for here, I thought I was. It's going to affect my run. So I threw a flash immediately, flashed all the bugs, and I just ran off. And we want to be careful as we approach uh, this room because this is basically the Iron Maiden room. And if you 
touch the bag, you're gonna, especially aggressively, you're gonna free the Iron Maiden, and we don't want that. So we're gonna be careful. Also, get the treasure in the back, because again, this is free. Now, within this next room, there's only, I think, from what I know, there's only one Iron Maiden. So, feel free to, like, run on all these uh, bags because none of them will actually pop out. I could be completely wrong, so still be careful. Um, but as long as you're, like, dodging them, like how I'm doing it here. Uh, basically, the the bag by the, um, the switch, I'm not looking at it. It's more towards my right, or Leon's right. Uh, it's basically by the boxes near the uh, the wheel. That's where the Iron Maiden is, so you don't want to touch it. And again, we just ran through this whole thing. I don't know how Leon was able to make that. I don't know how I was actually able to make that as well. And I'm here, I'm, I'm checking up if I have a RPG available for the Saddler boss fight. And I was sort of panicking, I'm not going to lie, because they didn't offer the RPG here for some reason within this chapter. But... Uh, once we head to the final chapter, there will be an RPG um, offered by the merchant later, so we're honestly fine. So I just kept going with it, and this is why the biosensor scope is very important, because you'll be able to scout the bugs and shoot out uh, these people very easily. Also, we were just getting the bugs so no one could really ambush us. And then there's one more guy up top. Oh, I didn't, I didn't actually bother going for him. But yeah, there's one. Or maybe I did get him. I, I did not see. I'm, I'm like going very quickly in this thing. This is where you want to actually pick up the pace in this game. Uh, you don't really want to take as much time here. Even though there is a lot of enemies. But again, as long as you're following how I'm routing it, uh, you'll be completely fine. So... Um, I'm luring in the cow enemy. So that, or, yeah, so that I could take him out first, and then I'm going to go for the RPG guy immediately. So, cow guy down, and we're going to go for the uh, RPG guy. I don't know why I paused. I think I'm just stressed out because I thought I wouldn't make it on time. But we kept playing. We didn't give up. So just snipe him. Snipe the crossbow. Ooh, I, I strafed to the left to, to uh, not get hit. That was pretty cool. So we're going to immediately rush to this part of the map. We don't want to stay out in the open. And even though there's enemies in here, we could easily infiltrate and uh, take him down ASAP. I would highly recommend just throw a grenade. Not a heavy, just throw a grenade so you can just get in and then mow them down with the Chicago sweeper just sweep them up we're just clearing out the area at, uh, within this area whoever is just pushing us also I know everyone was coming for me uh, through the door and not uh, like through the stairs because I, I didn't hear them again it's important to also have headphones because again you never know where enemies could be flanking from see that guy could have could have got me from behind. So yeah, there was just like only one guy. One guy there. So, the reason why I'm also not pushing the stairs is because I will trigger more enemies, which is the bugs. And then we're going to get a free shot on... Is that a cow or actually a pig? The cow head, the pig head, whoever. We took like two headshots on him and then we're just going to rush him and just take him out immediately. And just like that, down. Then there's going to be a guy on the turret that you need to press on. I was surprised he didn't uh, get affected by the uh, barrel. So it is mandatory to press that turret because it will be blocking your pathway. 
or your path. I don't know why I gotta be so fancy with the words right now. And you're home free. That's pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much how to get through. Probably one of the toughest parts of the game, but at the same time, I still think castle segment is much harder than island personally for me. And just rush towards Ashley, and you're home free until chapter 16. Um, so I think I do have live commentary after these certain parts. And also you got to deal with this long segment. I was checking the time, and when I saw the time, I was like, okay, I'm going to make it. I, I have like 30 minutes left. But it sucks again. You have to go through this whole segment and walk through it. But... <laughs> Yeah, uh, when you pretty much re reach this, I think you're good. Because, again, like that was the toughest part of uh, getting towards Chapter 16, which was uh, you know, the amount of people you're going to face in the islands um, or on the island. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this guide video. I think my live, live Tim, live Yazor Dreams will do some live commentary for you guys but uh as someone who's editing the video right now and and is and is on present time uh thank you guys for watching the video and i hope this guide video really helps because uh i know this is a sort of a sloppy guide because uh you know i, I wasn't able to show a lot of stuff properly and especially in the island segment but i hope you guys take my routes into consideration i hope uh, your S plus runs uh, will help you as well. I hope this whole entire guide will help. Sorry if it, 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 it sorry if it is a lengthy video in general, but yeah. Uh, but anyway, remember to drop a like and comment down below uh, how you guys did it if you guys did something different. But anyway, uh, peace off, and I'm gonna let the past Tim talk to you guys. Never been better. Good. You think she's all right? Oh, I'm sure she's fine. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Look, welcome. Ooh, what you buying? 
Oh, okay, never mind. I thought they took away the- Okay, the RPG just was under resources, probably, or just wasn't available that previous chapter. Thank God. Woo! That was- I, I thought I was gonna- Dude, I was about to lose it if they gatekeep the rocket launcher to only two. Oh my goodness. I was ready to actually fight Sadler. <laughs> like, I was literally trying to loot. Alright. So we're gonna wait for him till he lands. Once he lands, he's ready. And spray. Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. A monster in it up. Still, I need to cut this thing short. I don't know if you're able to um if this is like a time base, because I, I I think I seen people just uh just keep dodging in this fight rather than do much DPS, but I think if you're able to um, put as much DPS, uh, I think you're able to get out of the segment much quicker. Oh. What? What save are we on? We're on our... Okay, we're about to go on our 12th save. So, for those who are like me and mess up in the jet ski a lot, go save. Please save. Anyway. Yes, I reloaded because I messed up in the jet ski, as usual. But, uh, yes, there's a little strat once you head into... Instead of you getting grabbed, you could just be by the door. Run right by the door, not exactly right onto the door. And you could pass the guy who grabs you, so you could save more time. And so, anyway, with the jet ski, there are certain... It, it's so weird with a jet ski because there's certain objects you could just basically run over. Like little boxes or something, but I think anything bigger than a box... Uh, you'll take a lot of damage um, if you bump into it, and that's somewhat of the confusing thing of the jet ski part. And you have basically a minute to get through this whole entire thing. So I'm going to be quiet and lock in. I don't even know what I hit. Oh, that was close. Also, it's hard to see like what's in front of you. Oh, you get a thousand uh, pesetas for doing flips. We go towards left side. Safer. Woo! Wow, I didn't know you could do this stuff. And there you go, guys. Re four. S plus run. I thought I I wouldn't make it. I promise you there will be edited commentary in the last few segments because I had to brute force that. But professional mode is definitely the souls mode of Resident Evil and it's just insanely difficult. I think it's honestly just harder than the OG. And it's just harder because you face tough enemies, you face, uh, you have to face the timer if you want S+. And honestly, I would have enjoyed professional mode a lot if time wasn't really involved, or if the time was a little bit more lenient. And this is why the bonus accessories and weapons are very important to grind for, if you are an average player like me.
if you want to get an S plus. You proved you could handle yourself. But we did it. We had like literally 30 minutes left or under 30 minutes left. So thank God. I was honestly getting worried. <laughs> Jeez. I honestly have no idea how I would um like go through new game. So let's see our score. We did we did 12 saves, so the max is 15. And honestly, we didn't even really need a lot of the the saves that we did. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. We finally did. Hold up. I just have to take a photo real quick. I'm sorry. Oh. Look at all these playthroughs that I've done. <laughs> Jeez, man. So that wraps up for our full walkthrough and guide for Resident Evil 4. Um, we definitely really picked up the pace in the, the last segment because I was getting worried how long we were gonna go through everything. Um, and I also, I thought we were limited on rocket launchers, but fortunately we weren't. Um, and the thing about professional mode is I wish, I feel like a lot of, like there's a lot of stuff in this game where I don't know. I, I don't really agree on certain designs of how enemies are or how they could just take up a lot of your damage, your health. It definitely does give a challenge and there are ways to go through it. It's definitely possible. It is somewhat possible. You really got to lock in though um, to do a S plus whole new game with no bonus items or no accessories. But um, it it's really, really tough. But here's what you unlock. Uh, when you get S plus in professional mode is the cat ears and also we just randomly get the wolf tail as well I think you get this from um, a, like when you do S plus assisted mode I have a feeling if since I unlock this if you just go straight for um, S plus professional mode you'll probably unlock all the accessories but let's get this. So the apparently the wolf tail uh, powers up the melee attack, so that's dope. But the cat ears is basically that gives you infinite ammo, and now it is permanently with us in the game. And now we could actually, without any sort of penalties, we could do a whole fresh new game save, and also experiment with the game as well, have fun with the game. But anyway, thank you guys for. If this is on going on YouTube, thank you guys for uh, watching this whole guide. I promise it'll be edited and hopefully the quality would be great. Um, and explaining what certain strats I do in order to survive and go through these certain segments. Um, but I am surprised I went through, through all these playthroughs, honestly. And maybe one day we're going to do like a, a whole new game. No bonus items or no... No accessories on, on professional mode and try to get S+. plus. We'll see if that's honestly possible uh, for us to do. I'll be definitely stressing out a lot though, but yeah, we'll definitely see how that's going to be. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the stream as well. I'm out. Peace off.